videos we're live it's thursday february 29th and we got a new xp project that i'm going to get you guys' input on and it involves deleting my fourth character ah! I am so glad you're here because I want your guys' input, uh, especially Skeletor. I was looking for Skeletor this morning. I was thinking about you last night, Skelly, because I was working on this project all night last night, which is why I didn't stream last night because I just got my head into it and I didn't want to break. And so I've been working, you, you probably have heard because I've mentioned it a few times that I've been working on this new, basically uh, character grind uh, leveling up strategy, right? So it's been around for a long time and it's, it's basically an essential now. You guys know what I mean? Like, I mean, you have to have multiple characters in this game. And when do you need them? Right away. Now, the old uh, train of thought, or maybe another train of thought is, you know, don't get that additional character until your watch is like, you know, somewhere over 2,000, 4,000, something like that, because then you just amass a lot of points you can go after. But the reality is, is that with countdown and the amount of gear that you can score, you need access to that uh, additional inventory space immediately, because that's resources resources you sell and resources you crush and in a one hour session coming up coming out with 150 gear pieces is really easy you know and so two hours three hours and some of that's some of that's keepers right some of that's not all of that's going to be junk so you're going to be keeping some of it and and so you want to sort things right and this is all part of the strategy i know there's a lot of details i'm going through here but i'm just kind of getting you up to speed because obviously I haven't uh, released the video yet. So what come, one of the biggest things about Countdown that everybody knows is the quantity of named items. Named items for a new player are more valuable to sell than to keep. So new players are very poor. I know this because I got another account that's brand new and it's a struggle. You don't have it, you, you can't, so what we want to do as a new player is get to the level of our comrades as fast as possible so that we can run legendary and feel good about it, etc. right? Heroic, whatever. Or build these XP farms builds. But the thing is, is that to recalibrate anything is so expensive. It's like extremely expensive. And as a veteran player, we ignore this because we're just, we've just amassed so much quantity. Now we can run out but we can just quickly tap into our watch and we don't think about it. But if you think about it in reverse, all those points that you spend on your watch, right? To uh, to level something up as trivial as um, ceramics, right? Let me th throw this up there. That's 50 SHD levels. I mean, that's, that's a solid two, three days work, really, right? I mean, not everybody's got 12 hours a day to play this game. No matter what XP method you're using, that's a lot of work, you know, for a new player who's can't or is not able to level up as fast as his veteran players yet because they don't have the builds. More importantly, they don't have that experience yet. They don't know where the spawn traps are. They don't, you know what I mean? And so it's like that to get 50 SHD points for a new player is crazy, right? And we just spend it like it's nothing. We spend it like it's nothing. So this is my fourth account. And when I tap into uh, filling my watch, I try to use my fourth account over my second and my third. And uh, but I end up using my primary account a lot because I hate switching accounts, right? Just for resources. But so um, so resources are important for new players and us long term players as well for different reasons. So we're looking for optimization, most mostly expertise, right? And so that's where these where these resources come in handy. But we're also changing up our builds all the time and that costs resources and we don't want to have to stop to do that, especially with the tinkering system now, you know what I mean? So tinkering allows you to do things on the fly. And so when you're on the field and you get this godly piece and you want to put armor on it or something like that, and it, it would suck to find out that 
you don't have ceramics and now you have to go run around the the map and pick up ceramics you know and you know when you open up those ceramic caches they're like you know five ceramics here five ceramics there and so if you don't have a watch that you can tap into that's a painful painful process and so my point is going circling back when should a new player create a second a third fourth account as soon as they get to washington dc so when you take your first character and you get back to washington dc i think the smartest play is to uh, is to create a second character and and get them to new haven and park them there just park them at new haven okay and and there's a whole build strategy here and and in that last video i put out level 40 now what that video i at the very end of it i talk about that i kind of set you up for this strategy so what i found out so i'm getting you guys up to speed sorry this is long-winded but this is leading to something and we're, we're going to be working on it today because i'm really excited for this project i want to get it perfected because it's so important it's so important the grind in this game is not gear anymore. Countdown is going to deliver your exotics. Look, on my new character, on my other account, my new account, new character, I'm level 35. I got almost every exotic I need in the game. <laughs> like yesterday, I got the St. Elmo's and I got the Shocker Punch. I mean, like level 33 and I got the St. Elmo's. You know? excuse me i got the backfire i got the waveform i got sweet dreams i mean i mean i got loads of exotics and i'm only level 33 it's really easy to get exotics out of countdown i'm basically getting one i'm at a pace where i'm getting an exotic every other run sometimes two in a single run because one might drop you know so exotics are even easy now so the the real grind isn't gear it's not even exotics anymore the real grind are resources and so you might challenge me on that and be like, oh, well, what about those unicorns? I'm looking for that very specific uh, chess piece or whatever. Yeah, that's not a grind anymore either, because now you can just go to the crafting bench, spend a bunch of resources. It might take you 15 minutes of crafting crap, but likely you're going to get it or something really close to it. And then you can optimize it from there and recalibrate it from there. But it's going to cost you a shitload of resources to craft it. Or you can go into countdown and run a thousand runs and never get it, you know, but and you know you're waiting for drops and you're getting the you know things that you don't want and, and it, it takes 20 minutes to run where if within 20 minutes you can craft if you're looking for palisades chess pieces you can craft like 200 chess pieces in 20 minutes or something whatever more right more and you're only limited by resources including weaves and so you know there's multi levels of strategy here for resources but the 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 answer always comes back to resources when it comes to managing your time and efficiency and and all that kind of stuff so anyways the point is if you're a new character even without a watch right even without a big watch even without a big watch if you're a new guy so every four points or every fifth point we'll just say is going to give you a scavenging point right and you got you got pass this is passive income so when you got two characters even with like zero, level one watches every time you come back around to that scavenging you're doubling you're doubling your resources right because you can buy e-credits which are really important for new players like this these top things here are the most important for new players because that's what's all going into your crafting so you get steel not crafting but recalibrating steel electronics ceramics and e-credits that's basically what goes into to recalibrating and you literally have no e-credits right you have a lot you'll have like a 300 e-credits i mean and, and, and then you have to go around and do a bunch of bounties and blah 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 where your watch can give you ten thousand in a second you know so if you got a second character now you got twenty thousand in a second right or however long it takes you to get that xp now of course you don't have a big watch so you don't get like you know ten thousand scavenge points but just for the sake of passive income every fifth point is going to double down on your resources and you're sharing those resources so even you know so even though you go to your other character you can't share the e-credits but you can share things like ceramics and poly and steel so the e-credits are all unique to the account but for your for your primary account, you could spend all your watch points on e-credits and then use your mules to buy ceramics and poly and whatever else you need. And then when your watch gets to 2000,
then you can delete that that mule and run them through and all of a sudden you got a, a, a mass massive amount of points that you can spend all at once right so the strategy doesn't break down you still get to go for butt loads and so anyways and it it's really doesn't take that much time and so what i'm working on right now is like a fast strategy mostly for solo players to um get through new york to make it like painless as painless as possible right so there's always going to be some sort of pain in there but i'm trying to make it as painless as possible and basically what i've done is uh using the way the systems work right now i found a way the only thing that you share between your characters up front unless you manually uh walk a character through world tiers and uh organically make your way to new york versus boosting right but if you boost the only thing your characters are going to share is stash space so i'm leveraging that stash space thanks to countdown you can load it up with what named items right it rains named items in countdown rains most of which you don't need on your primary account either way for a new character for a new person most of those are more valuable to sell than to keep and named items sell for two three times the amount of a high-end item we're talking 1000 e credits for a named item and so 30 named items okay will more than carry a new character all the way through to new york and they can recalibrate all they want and buy things from the vendor if they want to or whatever so basically the idea is is to have one level 30 build, level 31 build technically so one level 31 build that you always keep and you use it you keep it as part of your level and up strategy and so you just delete that character and then you create a new character and waiting for that character is a is a level 31 build that is that is god tier and what i and i've already tested this so this part's already working so this is not where the feedback is that i need but i'm able to use a level 31 build all the way to keener all the way through to keener technically past keener so at level 31 i'm running around i'm running around with a million 1.1 million in base armor and then i'm using bloodsucker to double that so i'm running around with two million in, in, in armor and they cannot touch me they can't even touch me in that game and we're one shotting everything we have determined we have sharpshooter we have shotguns that are one shotting fools in the belly your snipers are one shotting things in the belly so all the way through and it's not until you get to about like level 37 where they start to kind of uh, uh you know tack away a little bit better at your armor but you're still so godly it's like you know it's amazing so my point is is that you don't even have to care about loot so you can run, I'm literally running all the way through New York, running and gunning, solo, one-shotting everything, and I'm basically immune to damage, right? So it, that I know that sounds crazy, but if you look at how much armor you have as a level 31 character, it's something like 150,000 in armor, and we're running around with 2 million. And I'm constantly refreshing it because every kill is... Uh, refreshing the bonus armor off of uh, what you would call it bloodsucker but plus I'm running around with palisades which is giving me more armor on guilt so it's crazy right so anyways I got this build and I'm a god so here's the where I'm challenged okay is that I'm sprinting as fast as I can you know I, I'm not running with other players so I'm not unlocking safe houses but that's only costing me like five or ten minutes the entire thing right because every time you unlock a safe house it only takes a minute or two and the jog over there is not long you know and there's resources i want to grab from those anyways you know and so because the only thing you need to level up are weapons along the way and you only need to do and you only need to do that like two or three times so like you carry level 31 weapons until you're about level 34 level 35 and then at level 34 35 then you upgrade your weapons based on whatever you got you know and then you you god roll the special talent that you like on it whether it's determined or something else and then you do it again when you get to uh basically uh keener right but once you get to keener you're just using your level 40 weapon so anyways 
it doesn't it's not much of a nuisance so i'm sprinting through everything and so the, the where i'm at now is like even though i'm sprinting through everything it's still taking about three hours and i'm not seeing a way to cut that down and so that might just be the reality is like unless you have somebody unless you have a squad of four who's splitting up and you know one person is doing the tombs and the other person is taking on the tunnels and the another person is taking on the tanker which is what i'm trying to do is avoid the four man carry because there's so many people that don't have people that they can call on them to bring their level 40 accounts to help them carry their level 30 account right and plus it's a nuisance for those people it can be boring and and that's why i was kind of interested in talking to skeletor because i know that skeletor has done that a ton right and so skeletor one of the questions i wanted to ask you is like how long what's the fastest you've done it and and what's the fastest you can do it solo that's kind of one of the questions eh? to anybody that that can answer that because is there a faster way to do it solo so one of the challenges that i've found is that i got to kina really fast like under three hours the problem was is that i got to him so fast i wasn't at level 40 yet i was at level 37 and then in order the xp to get xp in that game mode i mean when you're that low is so sluggish it takes the, those three hours can take you i mean those three levels can take you another hour running around a map trying to find stupid little activities to to take over you know Yeah, because I don't need the damage buff. You know what I mean? I don't need the damage buff. And so we're one tapping everybody, you know, and we're fully armored up. We are not squishy. And so I, I'm going to do this all on a live stream too. And so my only challenge is like, and so I think I know the answer. And so I'm just looking to see if somebody else is 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 got something else. And so. And I have looked at Reddits and stuff like that too. And what some people say is, it's like there's just no, there's just no way around it. It's it's a very common problem that a lot of people run into is that uh, no matter what, you can go fast, um, but you end up at Keener and you can't go in there until you're level 40 and you're you're like 37, 38. And so what some people are saying is that you just got to take those elite convoys or elite territories along the way. Um, you got to stop and do those just along the way so that when you get to Keener, you're basically level 40. I've done, obviously, I've done this many times. I've done it at least four times with my account, right? And then uh, several other times with my other account. But I've always had the same problem. Every time I got to Keener, even with groups, even with a group, and I ran with a group, every time I got to Keener, I was not level 40 yet. And we ended up having to run around and look for control points and stuff like that. The squad you you do it right so they and so i'm only doing uh the required side missions right and so there's only what three so there's, there's the pier i mean there's more than that technically there's these stupid little ones you know go find the drone parts right go go to the prison anything with the yellow diamond is what i'm taking on and then there's two outside of that that i did which is one is the castle i think you have to do the castle and then the other one is the gold uh gold queen or bullet queen the the mint basically the bank is not is not you mean the the gold bar one yeah i did that one but i need the xp anyways right <laughs> so so it's like at least it was a way to get xp but yeah that one comes from um alani kelso right she gives you that one I wasn't quite sure, so I just did it anyways because I figured I needed the XP, but that's good. That's a good tip. Yeah, and so I'm just trying to give the best. I mean, in the end, if the reality is, is it takes three hours, that's fine. You know what I mean? I just want to make sure I'm giving the best uh advice right the correct advice and saying like you know i'm done and we're talking solo here obviously with other players there's some strategies you can cut it basically in half right about two hours 
you know but i've seen people come on here and say oh i could do it in 45 minutes solo and it's just like well i don't see how you can do that and i'm not you know <laughs> I got my head wrapped around this game pretty decently. You know what I mean? And I'm doing I've done it a few times. And I don't see how somebody could do it in 45 minutes solo. You know. So I think, you know, uh, like Skeletor, do you think it's just reasonable to say that you have to do as many activities, easy activities that are in route to make sure you hit level 30 or 40? And that's okay. And so we'll just say it's a three hour process. Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to do in this stream, and so it's it's kind of going to be a different little... <laughs> yeah, 45 minutes is crazy, and so I'm trying to figure out why, what this guy was saying, you know, when he said that on our chat. I know some people are just full of shit, but... Because I was just like, what? I was like, That's crazy. What secret do you have, right? So what I want to do is, uh, so I've been testing it on my other account, but I I, th I can see advantages by doing it on my main account here because of, well, mostly I want to get that juicy watch at the end. I want to, because I have two things. I want to demonstrate it for the new players and be like, hey, this is a good, you're at now at a good starting point. But for us people that have been around for a while, it's like, hey, now we can just recycle that fourth character relatively often. You know, maybe even once a quarter, and uh, just get massive amounts of extra resources. Load up our watches at the beginning or the end of every season, basically. Uh, top them off, and not have to worry about farming, and do it all inside three hours with this strategy. And and just basically, what it's going to cost you is about one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight, about eight slots in your stash. You know what I mean? It's going to because you're saving this one build. So in order to do this, what I got to do is I got to delete all of this shit. Right. And this character is hosting uh, is always full because it's my it's my gear set character. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's my gear set character and we get so many gear sets. It's challenging because. So yeah, Carbine 7 can get deleted, right? Like God won't see tar, but the reality is I don't use these weapons. I gotta keep my my things here, but they're over here and I'm not using them. So I mean, nah, I'm not gonna delete. I mean, if it's important, I'm gonna throw it in my stash, right? But uh, this is gonna be a process. <laughs> so I am planning on doing an LMG series, so. But yeah, so this is going to be an exercise of deleting shit. So. So let's bring over the, I guess, uh, snub nose, maybe the Deceros replica. Yeah, let's do that. So that I can delete that. And so in this stream, what I'm hoping to do is um, spend all these watch points, fill up my thing. And then, you know, we're going to be deleting a lot of crap too, apparently. So delete, delete. That sucks because some of these are pretty cool. <laughs> okay, Aegis, you're going. System corruption is rare, so I better keep that. You're going. Cavalier's going. Heartbreaker skill builds. Oh, that I optimize. It hurts, right? That hurts. Yeah, it's it, but yeah. I hate deleting shit too, man. Like, okay, this one's going. Future head, headshot damage. Oh, optimized. Okay, I'm gonna save the optimized for last. Foundry crits, foundry explosive, foundry crits. I better keep the foundry crits. The skill damage one I gotta keep. True Patriot crits. Hot shot with a max armor on kill. I better keep that mod. I'll delete that one. 
Tippish Spear skill damage. Oh, I like my Tippish Spear. That one set. That one's going. Negotiator is easy to farm, so I can delete those. I'm just going to try to do this as fast as possible and not overthink it because it's going to be sad. <laughs> you know what I mean? This stuff is years, years of collection. You know what I mean? And so I'm literally going to try to rip it off like a Band-Aid because it's going to hurt to delete this stuff. And at some point, it's, it's going to kick me in the ass, right? Um, so I'm going to keep the key pieces, but... Um, like that umber one. Delete that. We've already tried to tip a spear chest. It's just not working for us. Uh, I'll go directive. I don't run it enough to really hold on to it right now. I have a farm it. Negotiators, easy to craft. Um, I hate deleting Foundry right now because I'm planning on doing a featured Foundry uh, build series, you know? It's not too hard to farm, but... Because, you know, they made the changes and we haven't explored it yet. So we got an Umbra crit chance there. Gotta find something else to delete. I'll delete that one. Okay. So I'm gonna try to keep the Foundry so we can do that build lab still. Without me having to farm too much. Okay, Aegis is going. Uh, Aegis is going. All right, there goes the chess pieces. Oh, oh. All right. Uh. So Foundry, that one I'll keep. That one I'll keep. Oh. Oh. Okay, Negotiators, Cavalier, Heartbreaker is gonna go. I like Ortiz, but that'll be easy. I mean, the good news is that gear sets are good, easy to farm, right? You know? Oh, that one I better keep. I can delete that one. Rigor can go. Ongoing directive is going to go. True Patriot, I'll keep that one. Well, you can't craft True Patriot, so you don't want to delete True Patriot. We're probably going to have to do this in two passes. Okay, Aegis, uh, keep that one for now. Uh, Eclipse Headshot, gone. Cavalier, gone. Ortiz, I'll delete. I'm going to keep that one. Foundry, I'll keep. That one can go. Well... Hot shot with crit chance, hot shot with skill damage, hunter fury has per I can delete that. Ongoing gone. Negotiator's gone. Negotiator is really good. I just don't use it enough. And then true patriot you can't craft, so that one's a pain in the butt. Got so many gear sets though, right? kind of part of the problem is that they're delivering so many gear sets and not giving us a break <laughs> on the stash space these four four pieces right and then god forbid you make a variation of something Okay, backpacks. So, Aegis gone. Tip of Spirit, better keep that one. Cavalier, I can delete. Clips, I better keep. True Patriot, I gotta keep. Ortiz can go. Delete the mod. Yeah, hot shot. Skill build. That's kind of an interesting one, but the mental usually plays a role there. Hunter's Fury, delete the mod, Negotiator's going.
Probably delete that. Keep that. Delete. Do I use the backpack? No, not really, do I? Let's go there. I don't use the backpack on that. Okay. God, that still leaves us down to 70 items, huh? Oof. Okay, where are we at in the weapons? So, carbine can go, C-tar can go. Even though I like those. Maybe I'll keep the C-tar. So, okay, let's see what we can delete here. That might be able to go into my. I need to load up, um, stabilize into my library. Some of these are waiting to do that. I've been collecting a bunch of extra snipers. Um, so some of these can just go. Yeah, I'll just delete that because it's not perfect yet. Um, Just making space here. So none of these count as stash space, so nothing there. Probably delete that one. You have to force yourself to do this from time to time, huh? It's just like, <laughs> delete that. I mean, so many of these pieces are just sitting on. Like the the festive delivery, I mean, I don't, I'm not sure I like it enough to want to keep it. <laughs> Yeah, this is the worst part about the game is that you have to do this regularly. I mean, how many times do you guys do this a week? What up, Tank? I mean, I do this. <laughs> uh, I'm making a new character. So kind of both, but mostly for a new character. Yeah. So I'm going to delete this character as a. I guess I can delete that. So I can demonstrate. I mean, I don't have to because I could demonstrate my other account, but I also just want to set myself up. And in order to do that, I need to clean house anyways. I get so many proxies, I might as well delete all these fuckers. <laughs> Uh, that can go. That can go. It's kind of nice. Kind of nice. Delete you. I'm not sure if I need that. Okay, that should be quite a bit right there. There's 20 slots. All right, let's see if anything's worth keeping here. So eclipses, so we got to keep that. It's pretty important, right? And keep the age of skill damage, and then we said the foundries. In the future, I'm already good on. So, uh, true patriot, we got to try to hold on to these because you can't craft them. And I like my tip of spear. At least I keep my one tip of spear built, so the rest can go here. Okay, chests were good. Aegis, Headshot. So I'm still planning on doing that build. That's why I haven't deleted it yet. Okay, Foundry we're keeping. Ortiz can go. This Hotshot is a keeper. Probably already have that one. The Hunter's Fury is a keeper. 
Tip of Spear is a keeper. The Eclipses. And I'm full already. God, that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, which one's got the most holsters? So, I mean, I could probably delete this clause out. I don't use it enough. Um, I'll delete that one. I'll delete you, even though you look so pretty. Delete you, not too rare. Skill haste Picaros, I'll just delete you and never use you. Uh, yeah, the whole surf, the whole is a good one to keep clean for skill pieces because you always end using end up using the Picaros or the waveform down here. Thought I saw another goal in that had headshot damage. We already deleted it. Okay. I'm still wanting to make some golem crit builds, you know? Armor regen golem builds, but. Okay, there's 22 more slots. True Patriot, we gotta keep. Umbra, that's. Clips and then the rest I'll just delete. And this is going to clips we gotta keep, foundry we gotta keep. One hot shot, true patriot. Oh that true patriot headshot can go. God damn it. Already filled. Where's that true patriot headshot one? That one. All right, so chess pieces now. Let's see what we can delete here. I think it'll always stay behind the incursion. They they use them to keep game modes interesting, right? Force people in there. Don't you hate that you can't take off mods while you're in the stash? I so wish you could do that. It's painful deleting something that you've optimized, you know? You know, one of the things that's taken up a lot of space in my stash in general is um, those chill out masks. <laughs> you know, all the variations of the chill out mask. Oh, yeah. That must have hurt. I'd cry for a couple of days if that happened, for sure. All red Lengmo is kind of interesting. I'm going to keep that one. Uh, you're not God rolled. I'll delete you. You're not God rolled. I'll delete you. Uh. Okay, we're getting there. So there's 20 slots. Okay, where were we? Holsters? Make sure we got all the ones we needed. Keep one aces and then tip of spear and umbra. Okay, good. 
So the rest can stay stay here. And then Umbra uh, gloves. Okay, so Foundry for sure we keep. Um, Tip of Spear we do. True Patriot we do. And my aces. That, so I keep the aces for the Dread Edict. I like the Dread Edict aces ninja build. And the Hazard Umbra is for the only backfire build I like in the game now. I've settled. <laughs> okay, these can all go. So backpacks, did we do all these already? I think so. True Patriot, we keep that one, we keep that one. Foundries, we keep. That system corruption, we keep. And we don't need that Umbra. I'll just delete the mod. And we'll keep that. That has expertise for some reason. I don't know why, I better keep it. Oh, we need that. Okay. So I think we got everything. I think that's everything. Kind of want to keep this gun now. <laughs> All right. So shall we offload our points now? Did we do our weekly project right away? Doesn't look like it. So let's do that real fast. So we're going to need some water. Might as well do that before we delete the account, right? Okay, let's go get some water real quick. And so we'll go to our spot, which is right here. All the water you can dream of. And then we'll offload the watch. All right, let's get, so I'm just going to get my SHD real quick, free exotic, and then delete the account. But we got to spend that watch. That might be harder than it sounds. But you know what you can do is you can go into uh, tactical assessments and basically just craft a shitload of tactical assessments because those are really hard to amass. There's always a crowd around this water. <laughs> I try to just kind of sprint through it, drop a decoy, run, run, run. Even if it's not occupied, they sometimes see you anyways. It's around the edges. Yeah, this is a good food for, it is a uh, food one right around the corner too. So if you need food like th and water, this is the spot. But you need them every week, right? I'm having to do this every week now. It sucks that they, they limit you on food and water because if they allowed us to carry more, then we wouldn't have to do this run every week. Okay, that might be enough. Oops. Um, I said you. There it is. All right, fast travel back. Yeah, you know what's up, P Dog. You know, going doing the tunnel run, also underground. You know, every week, once a week, is a pretty good idea too. Even once a day. I used to be real good about that when I was new, and now, not so much. But now that the crates have um, are scaled up with our world tier, it's even more appealing to do those because there's quite a few crates in those in those sewers covered in rats. Busy bee. Boom stick. All right, let's delete that just cause. All right, so first thing I'll do is 
basically spend the watch on basics. And then let's do that printer filament. We can load it into expertise if we need to. The leading account, huh? Well, let me do this last one. There we go. So SHD calibrations are the second rarest thing besides exotic components. So we'll go there. That's basically mostly using optimization. Um, also seen in the expertise. <laughs> when you get past level 11, I think is what it is and starts chewing those up. One per level. One per shade level. Expensive. So there's a cap right there. All right. And then recon data isn't that hard to get because I'm always doing control points. Uh, let's do titanium. We need to leave some for the watch. Um, I mean, for e credits, in case I need to craft. Tactical assessments, which I don't mind doing. It's quite amazing to me that you never fill up in tactical assessments when you play this game like every day, right? Crazy. Okay, so I'm just gonna buy a little bit of these. All right. So what I'm gonna do is, I know I can dump it into expertise, but I don't mind my expertise. Like if you look at my expertise, like, I mean, we'll put some of the expertise via the printer filament so it doesn't stay too full, oops. But, um, you know, I'm at level 23, so I'm close to the cap and I like dumping my junk and do these things, you know, the protective fabrics and stuff. So I don't mind staying just under the cap, you know? So I have something to put my junk into, I guess. But I don't know. We'll see. Depends on how many resources I end up with. So if we go down here and they go into um, tactical assessments, and then they're by faction. So weaves, you find that you get full, right, and with your weaves and your inventory. But these, like hardly ever. Look how expensive they are. <laughs> so let's let's craft these is it really gonna make me do one at a time craft again so i don't want to fill it all the way to the top but pretty darn close because when you do get these you're not getting big quantities And I don't think I'm going to spend all my resources on one faction. I think I could probably want to spread it out. So. Because depending on what you're optimizing, it calls for different factions. And look, this uses 50 printer filament in each one. Printer filament's pretty rare. Not just raining printer filament in the world. You're still getting purples, huh? I haven't seen any purples yet, Skeletor. Skeletor. Not lately. Um, I get low rolls. Yes, what up, man? Really? Triple purple. Damn. 
I mean, I don't open those caches all the time, so maybe I need to open more to see if that's the case for me, too. Do you remember when there was those things that were free at the countdown vendor and people were hanging out at the countdown vendor like all day and buying it <laughs> and deconstructing it? I think it was like a weapon, right? That's funny. It's valuable, but this isn't an, an exciting process. quite low oh that's weird there's um i saw in the glitches there's something about having like it's on the next patch to fix that. It was something about like if you have two assault rifles equipped at the same time and you try to tinker, it causes a glitch or something weird like that. The menu to crash. It's in the known issues as a fix ready. So 20.2, I think. How do I have so many levels? Or if you're talking to me, um, I've been playing the game for since it launched. <laughs> it really, there's no, yeah. And you know, XP farming is um, just relatively routine. You know, sometimes we do it for fun, but every time a global event hits, I'm doing lots of XP farming and global events are pretty common right every season at least one a month and so it just adds up it just adds up and sometimes we run a uh, directors just for the fun of it that printer filament this is really going after it isn't it and steel Surprised it hasn't taken all those E credits. What you could also do is craft for those unicorns, right? That's another way to spend your money. Actually, not a bad way to spend your money, right? Just sit here and craft a shitload of unicorns. So you got palisades. It's probably the smartest way to spend your money. So what is it taking here? Because I need to spend my E credits. Oh, but you run out of that. <laughs> that sucks. They've thought of that, huh? Um, but we'll we'll just keep going through all of these until we run out of. Oops, I didn't mean to equip that. I don't have enough of those. All right. Which one else do I want? Bellstone. Because even if it's uh, not God rolled, if it's got the right attributes on it, then it qualifies as a keeper. Habsburg is another one I want to do. I'm looking for an all red bellstone with headhunter. 
I have one that's close enough for crits. I got crit damage and headshot damage on one. We got 717 belts on weaves. Jesus. You think we'll get it? <laughs> I mean, how unicorn is it, right? This is the test. I got that video coming out for you tomorrow, Michael. Uh, make sure you go to my YouTube channel. You can turn on notifications. It's launching in the morning. 9 a.m. Or actually, I'll drop the link for everybody. So you guys can all hit the notification me. Here is tomorrow's video. It's a big one. It's a, a deep dive in XP farm, but really um, the build that goes with it, which is our updated XP farm build that I was running a couple of days ago. And we made it even tankier, but I went deeper because I wanted to go into the mechanics of it all and why. Why this, why that, you know, kind of thing. So I broke, uh, spent a lot more time on the mechanics. Because I realized in the original XP farm build video, I didn't spend much time on the mechanics. I just walked through the build, showed you it worked. So this one is like, this is why. So unicorn is like those rare pieces. Yeah, so it's like perfect. Like a unicorn would be, for example, a headhunter here with um, a headshot damage. Very specific is usually what it means. You're looking for something very specific. And so RNG is gotta is gonna try not to deliver that for a while while, right? So I got headhunter and then I would want which is a sniper setup, and then I would want uh weapon handling and headshot damage. If I can get all three of those, then I can change the core to a red core. And that makes it an extremely rare piece that everybody wants. That's a nice focus one right there. And so, um, and the chest pieces and backpacks are usually what makes a unicorn because you have that one thing adding a variable, which is the uh, talent. And so when people say, oh, that, those gloves or the the mask is a unicorn i'm like not really i mean so it's got two crits a crit chance of critting i wasn't even looking for it and i got it you know what i mean many 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 times you know what i mean like an all red brazos for example you know on your knees i mean how many times have you got that probably a lot you know maybe you threw it away because it wasn't god ruled but you should have kept it <laughs> because you could have optimized it you know but so the real unicorns are in the backpack and the chest in my opinion and maybe some named items oh it's all right don't mind explaining what did i run out of oh ceramics all right let's see if we got anything interesting um bellstone no 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 explosive delivery that could be a skill tier but nope 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 glass cannon crit chance nope 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 look at all random crap huh <laughs> Random. That one's kind of interesting because you could have God World crit chance, but it's pretty locked in there. I don't like that. You know, I want the either the talent or the core to be flexible. Otherwise, it takes up space in my stash for something that's very specific. Well, that was a lot of stuff we crafted to not get anything interesting, right? It's cool. 
Okay. And then how are we looking? E credits wise. So we still have a million. We just spent all our scavenging. Are we done? I think we are, huh? Hey, pretty good. We did it. I mean, I still have E credits, but they're not that valuable. A million, that would be, what, 100 points? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm making a video on this is kind of what I'm doing. Why I'm doing this. Yeah, I'd rather let go of the E credits than um, waste all those valuable resources. You know what I mean? Okay. So now what do we got to do? How do we delete an account? I mean, a character. Hmm. Do I have to log off? Probably, right? There's one more step to this. I basically need to go back into my other characters and create a little bit of stash space. The reason why is because we can, uh, part of the strategy is to feed the new character um, your countdown junk so that they're resource rich when they start. So let's see here. Delete agent. It's not my whole account, right? <laughs> Can you imagine? All right. Can you imagine? They should be more clear about that because that's kind of scary. Okay, so we're clean there. So now let's go and just do a little bit of cleanup here real quick. Um, I need to just make uh, 30 slots. So we got to delete 30 things. So this is part of the greater strategy. So you don't have to do this for creating an account just to do it. I know, shut my eyes, right? But so part of this, uh, what I'm doing here is, well, we were going to run a countdown run, just whatever, farm whatever you're looking for. And everything that's trash, we're going to dump it into our stash. So when we create our new account and when they arrive to Haven, which takes about 10 minutes, then they can pull all of that into their inventory, which thereby frees up our stash even if it's level 40. So they can't use level 40, but they can hold level 40, <laughs> which is pretty cool, right? Because they're not gonna be able to share your resources until they get back to Washington, DC. So they can only share your stash. So we got 145 slots here. We need to find some things to delete. Like that mask, I can delete that chill out mask, but I'm lock locked in. Um, let's see here. So Wyvern, that Wyvern's kind of good. That one I can just dump. That one I can dump. Heligard, probably save me for something, but I'll dump you. Carpenter, I'll dump you. Uh, Golan, I'll dump you. That's a good Golan. I don't use Golan enough, but I've been saving a lot of it for, you know, the update. But then I lost all my excitement into the regen setups because it, it just dawned on me like hunter's fury what am i going to use these regen builds and i like exploring but it's just i don't know still on the fence about the regen These are unicorns, right? That's a unicorn right there. So tag team, status effects, skill damage, and it can go skill tier. And then your skill build now has regen and armor on kill, potentially. But you have to delete some unicorns. You're going... He's going to intimidate a light. Point man isn't rare. These I got too many China lights. I need to delete these. 
y'all will keep. Venerous I never use. Might as, well, might as well dump it. Badger, I'm saving that. What? I can delete you. Yeah. That one I keep. Status effects, skill haste. I don't think I use the skill haste one. Let's dump it. Alps with Vanguard. That's special for sure. Dump those. Okay, we're close. A few more. Let's go in the backpacks. Um, I could probably delete that. Grupo. I hate deleting things I've optimized, but... Um, I'll delete that one. I don't think I run hazard protection enough. I'll just get rid of it. You know, I haven't used this gift in like 10 years. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It was so sought after and I've hardly used it. I'm sure there's some weapons we can go after. Let's see here. Could probably dump that commando. Get rid of the AK. The AUG I can keep. Wish I had damage to targets out of cover on that though. Is that one? I should probably get rid of the invisible hand. It's needs a better roll and I don't want to optimize it. You guys liking the Banshee? Anybody enjoying that? Like, I don't ever use the grudge. <laughs> Should I hold on to it? Is it good enough to hold on to right now that they've changed it? Yeah, you never see them, Avasti. You don't. Like, they're really rare. I mean, I... I don't get them. I have a ton of named item caches and I don't get them. Still to this day. Fuck you, Whisper. <laughs> shitty, shitty gear piece. Okay, I think that's everything, but I'm gonna, while we're here, might as well delete a couple more things, right? Uh, guns, what do we got back here? Nothing I can delete. Gloves, holsters. See, that's a unicorn piece right there. It can go red. Cherished, perfect trauma. That's a good one for the hunters. I might save that one. Electric, I could probably get rid of that. We'll get rid of Fenris, I never use it. Um, I'll get rid of the Henry's, I'm not using those either. We're going in deep, people. We're deleting shit. Look at this glass cannon of red. China. Delete. This walker with obliterate. I'll delete it. Again, because it's locked in with the talent. So. I'll delete that one, too. It's a rainbow. Might as well. I'll delete that.
I'll go to delete that. All right. I know I'm deleting mods, but they're not that rare at this stage. Uh, and my mods stash always gets full, so I'm kind of glad to do it. Okay, I guess that's good. That's 50 slots. So now let's pull in the gear sets under her. To keep our stash clean. And so we'll fill the stash. We'll fill the stash, but we'll it only be full for a minute because once we create our new account, we'll pull off all that junk. So the goal is to fill our stash after we're done with this. All right, so we got 50 slots we can put in there. I want more than that though. But we'll log out, switch accounts, switch characters. Yeah, that's right, Edgar. Yeah. We deleted the, uh, I'm, well, I'm also testing a new strategy. And so, and I'm also setting myself up for future, uh, less painful New York runs, if that makes sense. <laughs> I know Skeletor years. We just got to do it though. You know? I mean, it's so, you just got to rip it off like a band aid, you know? And, it rains in countdown. We got to admit it. So as long as we have a pat, this is the way I'm looking at it. You know, <clears throat> as long as we have a path for efficient resources, the mules, which we're working on, then gear is no longer really rare. Just don't delete your used unicorns, right? The used unicorns, the ones that have a, a use in your play style and stuff like that, because I mean, just countdown is crazy, man. It's crazy. Not even exotics are rare. They're not. I mean, I'm level 33. I got my, uh, what you would call it already? The St. Elmo's already. I got two, um, shocker punches, whatever you call those, <laughs> you know, it's just like, I mean, the only thing I haven't gotten yet really is the memento. It's just like. I'm level 33. I got almost every exotic. I'm not even trying. I'm just doing my countdown runs. You know? It's silly. And so that's what I'm saying. I think the devs, they and it's not a secret. The devs aren't stupid. I think they know what they're doing, you know? I think they know that the grind is in the resources. And we have a path, luckily. But the, the new players, you know, are still going to be having to grind grind. Even if they have multiple characters, it's still a grind. So that's old dogs. So I'm going to delete what I can. So I need to make space so I can collect. That's basically what I'm doing here. So. I use all this gear though. That's what's tough. Look at this too. I got a lot of chess pieces here. Let's see what's up with that. Yeah, I can get rid of that one. I don't know what you're doing there. Um, I'll get rid of you. Cause I already have an overlord. Ooh, we might have already had that. That's that same unicorn. We'll have to double check. Get rid of that. Freaking combustor. Sick of seeing it.
might regret deleting that one. Not you though, I can delete you. Delete you. I don't know if I have a better obliterate palisades yet though. I might need to hold on to it. Ooh, some of these are a crappy shape. Might as well delete them. It's a good one though. You can tell what I've been farming lately, right? <laughs> All these Palisades chests. Okay, I'll delete them. So six, if I can get rid of 16 more pieces, I'll be at a good spot here. That's a lot. That's a tall order, though. So we're going to have to make some tough choices. Petrov, you're going. I'm sure there's a Habsburger, too, that can go. That one's got to stay. That's a shitty one, so let me get that mod off. I crafted that just for that build. So that can go. That one can go. It's close, huh? But you're gonna go. Um. I'll get rid of you. I'll get rid of you. Ten more slots. We're getting there. All right. Knees. It's basically the same piece. I'll get rid of this one. Okay, so masks. Let's see what I got over here. Dawson mm, keep. These are all probably keepers. I think we already did the masks, didn't we? Oh wait, I can dump this one. I can dump this one too. Seven pieces. Okay, where are you hiding at? It's gotta be the chest pieces, right? Actually, let me check the gloves. So I can dump you, because I have you. Your keeper, oh, blue Araldi's nice. Habsburg must keep. Can't get rid of my tight around here what weapons we got up in here I can get rid of some of those exotics push them over that's probably what's eating me right here so I don't normally carry that and the white death could probably go over there I should probably just delete this stupid mosquito but we'll push it over. This magnum I use once a season. <laughs> Twice a season. Okay, chest pieces. I don't need that quick chance one. I could probably get rid of that one. I'll get rid of the walker. Oh, yellow palisades is good. Get rid of that. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Cool, so we got 50 slots, so now we can go, let's put on our countdown build.
and go fill up her stash again. So I have my countdown build. Um, yeah, it's close. So we'll put on the hunter or the uh, got a couple countdown builds, but of course the pieces are everywhere right now. Go striker. Keep it simple. Then I'll just put on you. That'll work, right? We had stats wise, 60 too much crits. More. More. There it is. All right. Let's head over. We got to change our specialization before we go in. Yeah, it's hard coming up with a guide on, on, I mean, I have a hard time buying into the concept, I guess, you know, the best I can do is be like, Hey, this is how I organize my characters, but what to delete, what to keep. It's so subjective <laughs> under your play style. And, you know, so a couple of tips is the best I can do, which is like, if you haven't used it in three or four months, it's a candidate, but. You know how it goes. As soon as you freaking delete it, you need it. We've all experienced that, <laughs> you know? I don't really need Gunner, but... Uh, you know what I should put here is the Palisades, actually. Let me go that way. Here we go. We got a new build. I'll put this over the crit chance mark though. Let me put on my crit damage Picaros. Don't you wish you could carry your whole stash on your back? <laughs> Just get, have the whole thing wherever you go. Alright. Oh, but you can't start it? Do you buy it? You could do you own the expansion? I mean, I think if you didn't own it, it would probably offer it to you, though, right? In theory. Yeah, I wish you could swap between characters faster, too. Yeah. Log out, log in, log out, log in. Yeah, it's so annoying.
Yeah, you own it. You should be able to. Have you, where are you with your character? Are you um, like level 30, you're level one? Did you just start the game? Because if you've already been playing in the, uh, the main game, then you can boost at any time by going to the helicopter pilot. That's in the front lawn of the White House. There's a, uh, and you, you, it'll give you the option to just travel to New York. Otherwise, when you start a new character, it gives you that screen, right? Do you want to go left or you want to go right? Do you want to go to the main campaign or do you want to go to New York? So you're at level 30, yeah. And so have you... So you started in the helicopter? So, uh, we're deleting the account and then creating a new one. We're going to rush through uh, New York, but I got to uh, build, create the first build, level 30 build. So, the first time you basically create your set, you set your, the first time you run through New York, you want to set up your strategy. You want to set yourself up for future New York runs. And so you spend a little, you try not to level up in the very beginning. And you spend, try to hang out at level 31 as much as possible. Hyenas have taken over the power plant and triggered the lockdown procedures. Be careful, agent. And by doing that, you, you're trying to assemble like some really good pieces because they give you a lot of green gear and green gear you can't optimize. You can't recalibrate but so it's got to be blue or higher and then so that means you need a purple chest piece a purple weapon and a purple backpack ideally got the wrong skills here maybe shield and you you might you don't have to get it perfect on your first character because each time you run through new york you can upgrade that same build you know, so you uh, you delete your account, you start over again, and you, you have that same build. And you'll be like, oh, look, I got a better piece for my level 30 build. Technically level 31. And then you, um, you know, save that piece, market favorite, and then use that one, that piece going forward. But the, the idea is it's the same concept as we we did when our original gameplay walkthrough for a new account which is weapons and talents for power and armor is all your survivability is just your gear so you don't have to worry about damage coming off of your gear so but if you happen to get providence great if you happen to get habsburg great you know whatever So who's the leader here? Hey, Scalp Hunter's in the house. And look, we got a bunch of banditos in here. What up? Got Scalp Hunter and he's the leader. All right. Scalp, you rock, man. Who'd you bring along with you? Lan? X-Lan? What luck? What luck? What if he sees me? I wonder if he recognizes my gamer tag. We we play together sometimes, so. System breach initiated. Uh, KGS, I am uh yeah, so that's what we're up to. So right now I'm farming gear pieces that uh I can push over to my new character. Okay, that's immune still. And so because your new character is so poor, you can't optimize. But if you give them a junk gear from Countdown or whatever, then they can now have be rich in currency and some basic resources that they can deconstruct that gear for too. Exposed. 
Who's dishing out the nice bonus armor? Those servers always confuse me. Area secure. Obi, that's weird. I'm confused. You gotta be doing New York already in level 40, right? Because you can't do countdown unless you're level 40, right? Isn't that right? Where are we going? Where's my guy? There he is. You might be saying that you can't get over to New York. That might be what you're saying. I see. But I know I know what you mean when you say, well, yeah, you're trying to get back to New York, even though you're over level 40 so that you can just go play over there. Yeah, I get it. So you should be able to just open your map and then um if you scroll sorry i can't show you right now because i'm in countdown but if you scroll up you'll uh you can see new york as long as your targeted loot isn't selected and then you click show new york map and then click on haven and say fast travel to haven or to that location and this shouldn't be a helicopter ride it should just be a fast travel screen Oof. Is it right? Ten minutes to lock down the facility. Oh, I thought he was a bad guy. He looked like a bad guy with that mask. So yeah, Countdown is a grab-and-go game mode, if you haven't played it yet. Get your gear and go, if you can. That's why it's really important that you try to clean up your backpack before you're going into this. I mean, basically the only limitation to your farming in here is your inventory space. Because what ends up happening is you get full and that's why you have to quit Countdown, right? Because you have to spend time sorting through all the shit you just got. And it's dishing out a lot of mods, which I'm apparently full in. Oh, you thought you were slick. I saw you coming. You should get tankier, boss. That's a that's a unicorn golem right there. We'll take it. Skill piece. Armor regen skill build. People are gonna be pissed when I make it though. Like, screw you, Tux! You're never gonna be able to get that piece. <laughs> I used to make unicorn builds, you know what I mean? I liked them. That was part of their uniqueness, you know? That was before countdown existed too. He was like, hey, look at this build concept. I mean if you include unicorns, build possibilities never do end. Because <laughs> you think of all those, you know, re-rolling cores that make something like Golan into a skill build or Bellstone into a skill build. Yeah, the, the unicorns that I've been looking for for a long time, but you know, I'm not, 
I'm betting my bottom buck, if you know what I mean. But like, um, the all red bell stone with head hunter, headshot damage, and handling. Um, technically, I'm looking for Habsburg versions of that and the backpack. And then I need the all red bell stones bell, uh, for the chest piece. Uh, Palisades, right? Same concepts. That's basically what they are. Jump. Ah. Uh, fuck. Look at that fast enough. Redirect excessive power to stabilize power distribution. High risk target detected. Oh, oh, how dare you? Uh oh, jump again. Ah, oh. everything I try to jump on is not jumpable, apparently. Aha, you guys get down there and get shocked. Oh great, let me get shocked again. Oh, I know him! I was off, fever off the ground! I <laughs> better heal from that one. Damn you, Chuck Norris. Power grid stable. Good job, boys. You did it. You saved the power plant. Good work, Agent. You saved the plant. Move to extraction point. I just said that. So ultimately, named item junk is what we really want. So that the character could sell it. Because that's mostly what they need is currency. But they iron and other stuff. Luckily, New York does have a lot of resources, actually. Just running down the street, you do pick up some basics. But they do need ceramics to get going. Ooh, there's another unicorn. Here we go. I'm coming. Hold the chopper. Hold the chopper. How do they all get over there? Where'd you guys come from? Oh, 
located. Oh, Hunter. Oh, you dick. Oh, you just healed through that, you... I can do it. Got it. <laughs> that was close, though, huh? I wanted it. I wanted it that bad. I put my life at risk. Oh, there it is. Remember, we came in here with 50 available slots, and we're going to leave full. It's insane of a farm, you know? And even your junk is valuable because... You're getting weaves that you can thereby craft, right? When drops. There it is. We hit our limit. I mean, it gets to a point where you just kind of, you kind of hope that the game, the game doesn't drop anything, right? <laughs> You're like, just in case it's something really good. And then I have to sit here and find something to delete. But I mean, look at the rolls. It's a God rolled king breaker. I'm telling you, you don't need, you don't need to farm anymore. <laughs> I mean, that's. Powerful bit. They're not just junk pieces is my point. You know what I mean? They're powerful Powerful things are coming out of here Look the more goddamn gear too Okay, so Look at that god world <laughs> Give me a break Okay, um, I'll take that we need named items Delete that Trying to work fast because we're up against a timer. Did I miss it? I did. Oh well. All right. <laughs> yeah, the AC 130. <laughs> yeah, a 130. Yeah, little beast, that little Ouroboros. It's worth it. It's worth the grind. That one. And honestly, it's not that hard to get. It's going to take a couple of runs. It's just a matter of getting the, the crew. Good team. Okay, so we're back. So again, the objective was to get as many named items as possible, but just junk. And so we have 40 slots basically in our, our thing there. We need more, but we can also do it in stages. So basically what we want to prioritize over there are named items. And the reason why is because they sell for a lot. So if you look down here at the bottom of this born great, that's a thousand pesos, right? And so we move that over to the stash. And I should probably mark it as junk before I move it over. And the new character, ooh, that's a nice Ecom long stick, huh? So the new character, it's got a mag size too. I kind of like that. 
Don't do it, Tux. Don't do it. Okay, I'm going to push it. Okay, so these are perfect. So lots of proxies. It just rains proxies, right? Dump, dump. Um, I guess I can dump that. That's garbage too. So you, you. Look at that. That's a nice little Palisade backpack, double crits. Apparently I have one already, but I can change the talent on it. Okay, so I'll move backpacks are good to move to. Okay, so that's a unicorn. That one can go. Junk, junk, junk. Uh, that's a unicorn, but I don't need it. It's a weird one. Okay, Brazos. No, no, no. And we even got a Picaros out of that. So that one's definitely going. Why is my stash sorting? That's annoying. I need to fix that. Okay. So now that we've assured that all the name items are over there, now we can just move everything. It's junk. Well, there's more named items. So combustor, combustor, combustor. Brazos, a Henry. Ooh, that's a, a red headhunter. <laughs> that one's a keeper. This guy has pro, but it's close enough. I already crafted one, but I better keep it because it's cool. There's a named. Throw that one over. It's a nice drop right there. Okay, I think we got them all. It's a nice palisades right there. I don't know if I need it though. That one can go. Did I get everything? Nope, apparently not. Wow, there's more. Jesus. See, it keeps resorting on me. Okay, how do I fix that? New is up. Let me just do default. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Okay. Santini! Thanks for your sub. Good time, too. I needed the energy. Got a god rolled. All right. Good chance. Um, gloves. All right. You can go. You can go. You, you, you. And we're full. Okay. So that's good. All right. We did it. So we put 40-something slots. We could probably get more, but... That's fine, we can do it in stages. All right. So now the task. So the next step is to create the new account and just rush rush them over to Haven. It only takes 10 minutes or whatever, you know, a little intro. And then we pull all that stuff into this character. And that'll free up our stash space. And then also give this character some currency. And so the one of the tricks. Well, I guess I'll wait to show it to you. It'll be easier to explain it. And so we'll just randomize character. 
cool. Continue and then we'll confirm. Looks like he's from the Bronx, right? I hate going through City Hall, I'll be honest with you. It's kind of boring. Yeah, we start a new one from scratch, so that way we get resources. Oh, where's the sound there? Okay, so here we are. And it gives me tutorials. I can remind myself to delete them. Turn that off. They're annoying. So let's see how long it takes us to get there. It's not that. Okay, so let's disable tutorials. Okay. And then we put this to attack drone. Um, I thought I disabled you. And then I'm gonna put on a shotgun. So resources do matter early on. So we're just gonna grab what's convenient. It's basically standing in front of us. Standing right in front of us, we'll grab it. So, yay, we leveled up. How easy was that? Level one, 31. So that's why your first build is technically a level 31 build, not a level 30. So they give you, and I mentioned that because they give you level 30 gear. See that? Level 30. It's all of that's already junk. Entering contaminated area. Like my biceps, Kelso? Want to touch my guns? Come on, Alani. Could be so slow. People are dead. Let's move on. Let's get the rope. Oh, there's some of those water. I think the gear that they give us in the story mode isn't as random as it should be. It doesn't feel random. Like every time I beat um, Vivian Conley, for example, she's always gives me a um a named golem piece the wicked backpack skip through that stuff yeah that's right world yeah i'm creating a new strategy this is all for a video that i've been working on and i've been testing it for a couple of weeks to make sure it's consistent and just down to the last stages and so i wanted to do it on my i've been using a new account to do all the testing and so i wanted to do it on my main account also to try to catch any nuanced differences from you know a more experienced account which i don't think there's going to be any but also to set myself up personally to be able to continue to do this on a regular basis and let it not be as much of a hassle, you know? 
I mean, for all the grinding we do in this game for things like resources and whatever, and, you know, just to put three hours every quarter or whatever, every uh, season, three hours a season, just delete your fourth account. Just, oh my gosh. <laughs> and, and for new players, you know, it becomes more and more viable, but even right away, I was saying, like, just to have access to that inventory space and those extra exotics right away is going to be valuable for new players. So it's just everybody is relying on this. And so it's time to refresh it because we got some new things that we didn't have before when everybody learned these strategies. Which was basically countdown is a big part of it. And some of those and the other thing is, is that a lot of people, a lot of the strategies that are written on this are all incorporating um, teams, basically. And that's something we know that not everybody has. And we've seen it and heard about it over and over again. So for this, we basically want to just grab everything that's convenient, which is is here. So you want to get go as fast as possible, and there's not there's only one enemy engagement. So, but this these resources you do use right away. It prevents you from having to crush as much gear uh, that you could potentially sell. So we want to see purple gear. That's great. And so, so on my other account, I'm a lot, uh, progressed further. I've already created my first build. So the first time you do this, like I'm doing now, the idea is to create a build that you will be able to use over and over again in the future. And you can upgrade it over time too. And it actually kind of becomes fun. It kind of reminds me of that descent grind a little bit in a weird way. Like just every time you go in and do this, you're looking to make that perfect build. You know, we're not not something we're going to use all the time, but Amherst just chose New York. Careful, Agent. Looks like there's trouble up ahead. More trouble. There's no more trouble. So the tendency is to want to skip this stuff, which I did initially, and then I figured out you don't want to skip this stuff. <laughs> because it's a chance of getting that first build perfect right away depending on what rng delivers delivers in these little caches and if not so you don't want green gear that's basically what you don't want anything but green because you can't recalibrate green and that's what we're going to do with all of those resources that we pushed over is we're going to recalibrate things i'm going to tinker and so they give you green so that green stuff is all going to be either sold or crushed for materials So right now we're just getting resources otherwise. Just takes a quick moment anyways. I think that's everything. All right, Alani, let us in. Tell your friends I'm here to chew bubblegum and kick some ass.
it doesn't and it does so it does yeah 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 i mean for playthrough no it doesn't but for for strategy it does because like if you're playing through for the first time and you're experiencing this then it doesn't really matter uh because you're constantly leveling up and upgrading your your gear along the way but in the future the goal is to get through this shit as fast as possible for your extra characters and so what you can do and what i'm going to show you how to do in this series is make a build that's so strong the enemies can't hurt you <laughs> basically by leveraging those resources that allows you to tap into your library your tinkering library so you do have to talk uh to these guys so that you can unlock your specializations otherwise you can be stuck with the demolitionist which kind of sucks okay so then just skip through this so yeah well, i'm gonna make a build with uh 1.1 million armor and we're gonna be one-shotting everything with that all the way through to keener and you don't have to change your build all the way through to keener you don't even have to change it at keener <laughs> and so because you're running around with enough armor and bonus armor to to uh deal with keener and so the only thing you have to change is you have to upgrade your weapons you know about two two times maybe three at the most to maintain your balance your damage balance okay so from here you choose your specialization and i don't need armor on kill really and so i could go gunner um and so this is the advantage of having an existing character is that if you're a new player, you don't get access to technician, gunner, and firewall unless you complete your projects um, or you buy the season pass and then you have to level them up so they're going to start out fresh. But right now, if I chose gunner or technician or whatever, I'd have a fully upgraded dealio or do I not? Yeah, I do, right? No, I don't. I'd have to level those up. That's right. Each character has to level those up. But on a new without the season pass you end up having to spend 20 dollars at this point to get access to these and so i'm not i don't need them so i'm gonna run sharpshooter anyways but uh you do want to assign your points so we're gonna be using our tac 50 same strategies we always do which is we use our tac 50 to power up our headhunter chest piece talent and so you're gonna want snipers and shotguns mostly and then i we're gonna use a pistol a lot too now i wish we could do the rifles so we get access to the scope but you know how the stupid game is okay and then we'll just go ahead and do this for the sake of it cool and then we'll activate that so that's my build now your build could be gunner if you want to and start leveling up your gunner not a bad idea but um and then you want to open up your your stash your caches right away just make sure you have access to everything and then from here we want to activate the vendors in case you need to buy something so let's talk to this dude audio is not working correct all right let's do that and then um same stuff as yesterday apparently yeah so if you need to buy something you can and as you can see look at my resources so even though i have account sharing enabled i don't share any of my resources until this character gets back to new york so we don't have any and look at my e-credits i don't have any right so for a normal playthrough or if you didn't use the strategy that we just started you you can't do anything you can't optimize your gear you can't uh recalibrate it because you don't have the money to do it so for example on this mask if i wanted to recalibrate it i have access to my library so that's a level 30 piece so it's looking at a level 30 library but let me choose a better one um just let me put on a level 31 here we go okay so if we want to tinker this look 170,000 in armor 170,000 so you could do that to every piece what's stopping you resources what did we prepare ourselves with a bunch of resources so this is where we pull in all of that junk see i can take that junk right so that's junk that's junk god rolled junk boom boom and see, look at this named item. It sells for a thousand pesos. <laughs> and 
And so we're going to use this to level up this character and turn him into a god. So unfortunately, I have to sort through all this crap to figure out what, what I can take. Okay. Junk, junk, junk. Looks like junk too, doesn't it? So yeah, you want to mark it. Make it easier to find your stuff like that. And so we're also cleaning up the stash, right? So we filled our stash and so our other characters are gonna be suffering from fullness. So we're relieving them of that. And so if you don't have enough resources in here uh, from gear, then what you do is you log out, go back to your other character and do another countdown run and then push the stuff over here again. Because now your character is already here, so it goes even faster. So if you wanted to, you could leave your character here for a while and just fill up their stash. And so what ends up happening is along the way, you're, you're basically just going to sprint through New York and you're not going to worry about any gear that's dropping. Now, the only thing I do look at, if it's convenient, is I do look for uh, better weapons. Uh, but mostly when I get to like the mid-35 level, which doesn't take very long. So moving over all the junk. I think I got it all. All right. Seems about right. Stash at 257. Character at 55. All right. Now what we can do is, and we can do it there too, but let's just go look at the other vendor because I can't remember what he's got. Oh, and we need to open this. So this is free, free loot. Wait a minute. So, and you can craft. This is what you can craft. Uh, so we can craft the Savage Wolverine. And why? what's stopping us? Credits, right? So let's see what we can craft on the snipers. Model 700, nothing interesting, right? Because we got to level up the bench. And then uh, let's look at the pistols, though, because we do use those. Nothing interesting. Because we have to upgrade the bench again. All right. But that's interesting about the certain gear. You can craft the named items. So let's see what this guy's got. Brazos chest piece. This Cheska is nice. This Habsburg is nice. See, it's a level 31. So it needs to be at least blue. Otherwise, you don't care on any any of the other pieces. You don't care if it's whatever brand. Now, the chest piece, the backpack, and your weapons are the most important. But when you first do this, you're going to kind of take what you can get. Um, and then you're going to level up the weapons anyway. So level 30s, we don't need unless it's the shotgun. I don't level 30 shotgun will last a while. Um, so but we have a level 31 luckily. But this one's got a talent, which is reformation, but we're not using that. And we don't have a level 30 library. So if you look at your library here real quick, Let's go to Tinkering Station. I don't think I have a level 30, 30 library. Uh, let's switch. Shotguns. Talents. Not very, not very dense, at least. See that? And so a level 30 library would be handy at this stage, I gotta say. Because uh, well, I do have these. Because then you wouldn't need level 30 guns, but the stats aren't that attractive, right? So the body armor is only 42,000, where on level 31, so on the gear, it's these core attributes that we're after, 170,000. So what we need to make sure is as many level 31 items that we can reroll, the better. So that's a level 30, so we wanna push this to level 31. And again, you don't carry, carry what the brand is, but the higher the rarity, the better, because then we can get a chest talent. But we don't have a chest talent yet.
one with the chest talent capable, so that's okay. So what I'll do is I'll take this one, and then what we'll do is just assemble, and then we'll build. So the goal in with versatile is a great one, so we'll keep that. And then we want to mark his favorite so we don't accidentally delete him. And we also have a Fenris with Safeguard, which is level 30. So we're going to get rid of level 30s, unless they're keeper keepers. And so level 31, but it's green. So you can't take green gear. So we need a glove. So green gear can't work because you can't re-roll it. And the whole point is to put armor on there. Lots of armor. So we're going to need gloves. And we're going to need knees, right? Because this is a level this is a level 30. So these are things we're going to want to buy from the vendor or, or get dropped along the way. And so we have a walker, level 31. That's beautiful. So we're going to mark that as a favorite. It couldn't get any better than that, right? We're going to load it up with armor. And all we care about are the main stats. And so level 31 chest, we already did this one, right? And then did we already do the mask? I think so. It's level 30, so we need a mask too. Okay, so now let's sell some stuff, buy some stuff. So let's go into our inventory and then let's sell named items, but let's not oversell. Okay, you don't want to oversell. You want to kind of cash in what you need because some of the stuff you're going to want to deconstruct for parts too. So watch our money climb there. Oops, not that one. So we're at six sixty six hundred. I think overall, like about sixty eighty thousand at the end of the day is what you want to finish the process, which sounds like a lot, but it's not. It's just that my stash was really full, so we were a little bit more limited. But about uh, that's probably more than enough to get us rolling. We'll see here in a second. Okay, so let's buy something. So we need masks. So we needed a mask. So there's a level 31 headshot damage mask. Can't get any better than that. How much is it going to cost me? 3,000. What do we got? 16,000. But this is where things get expensive, right? So we're going to need resources too, because now I got to tinker that. And so what do I need? 30 ceramics or whatever. So that's where the deconstruction of that gear comes into play and that's why we want to keep our stash full with junk so if we end up running out of resources then we need to log out go into back in the countdown and refill it now you only have to do this once because in future characters you're going to save this build the same build you're just going to keep it in your stash and they're going to have a god world that's going to say 170,000. the build will be at a million and then we're going to put on um Bloodsucker on the backpack, Headhunter on the chest piece, you know, once we get the right pieces, and you're just, you're unstoppable. You know, and I'm using a shotgun and point blanking fools and then pistols and whatever. So, so we got the backpack, we got the mask. So let's mark that as favorite and then delete that. Now let's sell. Uh, we don't want to accidentally delete named items. So I'm going to unmark named items. I don't got too many more left, do I? So is that level 31? That is shotgun, assault rifle. I don't want to use that. And then this, I'm fine with holding a level 30 until we get something better. Well, I guess I can use this right away because at least I can put 15% damage on it. And it's stronger. Yeah. All right. Let's put mods there. Rounds. Crit chance. Stability. And then mark that it. Mark that as favorite. And then the shotgun. We got a level 31 shotgun, so that's good. Level 30, we'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then mark this as favorite mod it good chance what's also i found is really cool is that you can um tinker in the field so if you don't have the resources in here then you know you just go there's some resources right out of the gate okay so what did we need we need a knees so 
He's got some pretty good knees here. He's got uh, Cheska knees. So let's buy that. And it's got good stats on it. So Cheska knees. And then we'll favorite those. And then we can delete the level 30. All right. And then the gloves are level 30. So we need gloves. Does he have gloves? Nope. And then a holster. Did we need a holster? We're good on a holster. And we're good on the chest. We need a better one, but I'll be able to load that up with armor. And then... Habsburg, we're good. We're good. Okay. So I'll, first, uh, before I crush all that gear, because I can crush it or sell it, I'm going to go outside the gate and pick up just some ceramics. I think it's this way. Am I going the right way? Yeah, this is right. Nope. Yep. So there's an alleyway right here, if I remember right. Resources are littering this damn city. So this is what we're after right there, right? Ceramics and electronics. Get all these resources, and then we'll do our first crafting, and then it's easier to just swap back to your other account, do a countdown run. But I wanna grab some of these while we're here. station we don't need it but there are resources upstairs here let's go upstairs some chests or maybe I'm thinking of somewhere else Okay, so let's see. Let's do our holster. Let's look at our holster. What does it think I'm in combat? I think it does. There we go. Okay, click and then tinker. So what do I need? So this is just gonna cost me resources. So that's great. No, I mean, it's just costing me E credits. So it's not going to cost me ceramics. So that's awesome. So good one to start out with. And boom, look at our armor. Already a half a mil. That's just one piece. All right. And what about knees? What is it going to cost us? Just money, which is good because money is something we have. Cool. We just spent it, but let me see what this is going to cost me. So this one's going to cost us a little ceramic. So that's what I'm trying to balance. Like how much do I crush? How much do I sell? And so now I know I can, I just need to buy, sell 5,200 worth basically. And then we're on our way. But to finish off our resources, I'm going to want to do another countdown run on my main character so that I can finish off this build. Uh, I'm trying to finish it ASAP, Benny. I'm just polishing it off. Look 
What up, Mongo? Has it been that long? Wow. Since countdown, huh? I felt like you were around more than that. Uh, I mean, I've been creating videos. So we're going to need so the chest. Let's see what this one's going to cost. Just money. So that's good. So we need a little bit, but not a lot. So we need about 10,000 at least. So let me see what we can get away with without traveling first. Okay, so inventory. Let's start selling. I can do a little at a time so I don't accidentally overspend. Oh, there's a pristine example of a level that. That's a good one. Okay. So then we'll go back to, I think, the was it the mask? That one costs resources. So the chest, good. So we're going to rely on the gear. Okay, is going to be our defense. Our weapons are going to be our offense, except for the chest talent eventually, but we just need to find a better chest. Okay, and then for the backpack, we it's uh, it's going to stick with low armor because this one's not perfect yet, but uh, we're going to, here it's important that we put on Bloodsucker. Really important. It's going to double our armor, make us like absolutely invincible. Okay, and then what is this one costing us? A little of everything. Okay, this one... Okay, good. So we're down to three pieces, four pieces that need a little bit of everything. Okay, so how much money do we need? Let's see, what is this one costing? About 4,500 plus 5,000 plus 5,000, so 10, 1,500 basically. Okay, so 1,500. Let's see if we got it. be close we don't okay so that's where we log out all right switching accounts let's go get some more junk yeah i have a oh sorry los mongo i have a whole um I did put up a whole playlist for new and returning players. Okay, so we're going back to our main and then we're gonna fill that stash up. Now, it would go a lot easier if you had more stash space, right? And so on my new account, you know, I was able to push over 150 items all the way into that, to that character's backpack and then keep filling the stash. So he had like, you know, basically 300 things to go after more. You had like 400, 450 things to to access. About an hour in countdown. And we'll give him probably more than he needs. You don't need to overdo it. So I'm still trying to figure out like how much you need to put in there exactly. But we were almost there. So I bet you it's probably about 100, 125 total things. But the more named items, the better. All right. And again, you you don't have to do this every time, right? It's just the first time that you're si you're setting up your character so that you can do playthroughs faster going forward so in the future when i delete that account again i will have saved this build and continue to improve upon it haha <laughs> diz you know exotics don't sell for crap you ever look at your exotic selling price it's sad very sad Yeah, it's worth crafting, Michael. It's just that you don't have 
a leveled up crafting bench, which is lame. It's like they thought about that one. <laughs> so you can craft certain things. Like I can craft a level 31 Savage Wolverine, which would be a great gun. Because you are playing close and personal because you're godly enough to do it. So I couldn't, I can do it. It's just that I want to go around with the shotgun personally. I mostly use the shotgun and pistol in the end. So you just one shot in everything with pistols. Um, and then with the shotgun, I'm using pummel. So I don't have to reload. Pummel's been glitching a little bit though. Or they changed it. I meant to bring that up. Did anybody notice that pummel doesn't reload? until the cooldown is off they put a cooldown meter on it which has always been there just for damage but if you get three kills and still have your 40 percent damage buff and get another three kills it won't reload no division two dlc is coming in the fall division three will be we don't know Guys. Critical pressure level. To avert catastrophic system failure, system purge required. System disrupted. Yeah, you guys know we're going on year system six activated. next month. This month, March. Year six starts. It'd be kind of a pain to be in here with an LMG because you'd always be reloading. I mean, it depends on the LMG. But, you know, those long, slow reload ones. <laughs> Who's the leader here? It's Flag. All right. Secure the area so we can bring in the engineer. Really, dude? Get off me. I feel like we don't have a full team here. Is that what's going on? I think it is what's going on. Dude, God, I hate that. Every time you come up here, they go down. So annoying. Where's his ass? High risk target approaching. Area secure. 
<laughs> His body just flopped. I mean, Flagan holding it down. Got to follow the leader. <laughs> I don't know where everybody else went. It doesn't matter which one's better or not. They're all the same. Just follow the leader, you know? Sometimes people go rogue, right? That's right. It doesn't really matter if you do VIP or not, you know. Maybe a little bit more if you're playing heroic because there is a chance that people will drop and you don't get your you ideal times. No, you don't. Trey, you don't. Check out the video I just created if you can. It's called Level 40 Now What? And it's it's a fast track strategy for people that just arrived to New York and want to, I mean, from New York to DC and want to run with the big dogs. Anyways, one of the first tasks you do is craft here, I'll go ahead and grab it. It's right here. Level 40. We need to release the pressure in the system. There you go. Yeah, one of the first things you do is you craft a build that will get you through countdown and be able to manage. Um, and all the roles, the point of the... when I. When I talk you through the build, the point is, is like, hey, don't even care about the rolls, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cool. Just you can be fine if you just assemble this setup because Striker is just so strong that its base amplified damage stats are can get you through it. You just need a decent assault rifle and and then you use countdown. Why isn't this? I don't get it. Then you use countdown to upgrade that build. And so you're basically at where you need to be after one countdown run, just because gear sets are so easy to farm. Destroy pipe lids, but they don't let me destroy them. It's really annoying. Yeah, as long as you stick with the group on this, your power should be fine. Eight people shooting on one enemy, you know. But the reason why uh, damage matters is when you get cornered and it's you versus eight. One v eight. And you got eight enemies in your face, you know. Somebody's down there paying attention. You need to vent the remaining steam and you'll be good to go. Exceeded. Purge system to stabilize the pressure. 
stabilized. You can cut off that beam. Has anybody got that steam over there? There we go. Now we're talking. Not named. I might as well just crush everything in case we get full, which I'm sure we're going to again. Man, this countdown game mode's probably getting a ton of miles, huh? <laughs> like the amount of players in here. <sighs> Agent, stay frosty. Hunters incoming. They need to maintain it, like upgrade it, and give it more options and stuff like that, so we don't get worn out. It seems like it'd be an easy one to maintain. You know what I mean? Add more uh, interesting. Um, what do you call them? Tasks or whatever. It's not always the VIP shit. And System curtailed. So where am I at? 130. So I got 20 slots. All right, that should that should be good. That cover. There it is. Got so much gear. Ridiculous. Look at all those stacks. I know it's not all Palisades, but look at that God rolled punch drunk. Take that. Some named item, named item, junk. Named item, junk.
inbound. Yeah, have you ever tried playing it solo? You know, I've never tried and I keep saying I want to. <laughs> Torres, you missed the spot. Oh, wait. Wrong. <laughs> Let's not get on the black test helicopter. Okay, so uh, we're quickly going to sort. We keep the stuff for ourselves that we're actually looking for, and then we're going to offload everything else, especially named items. And then again, we want to make sure we're marking it as junk so we know what we can quickly grab and destroy and sell. All right. All right, so we are back. floor from being sticky all right so junk look at that mechanical animal huh junk oh wait no that was favorite what am i doing junk i wonder it looks so good who's my main one junk 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 all right and then i'm gonna prioritize the named items but we'll probably be able to push everything over all right and then Junk, 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 punch drunk. Junk, 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 junk. That's kind of not bad, huh? That. Sacrifice. Oh, hate that it does that. Very many holsters. Commies, Palisades, Grupo. <sighs> we could have got better rolls, though, huh? Apparently we could have got less proxies too. We didn't get very, very many attractive things. Gotta say, thank God we got a character that needs it. Pushed. All right, so no holsters and then chest pieces. Good, I think I pushed them all. Yeah, and then masks. I think there were a couple hanging around. You, 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 you. All right, and then last but not least, the weapons. Just double check. And we're full. Perfect. Good time to be full. All right. Switching over.
So that makes it uh, basically a total of 100 items over to this character. I wonder if they're going to do a PTS this season for next season. I'm still curious on what they're going to do next season, considering it was supposed to be the DLC. So I'm just going to take named items right now. So I can easily sell them. junk right there we go okay let me just sell all of that so we got eight thousand we needed 15 basically right so now we're at 18 so that should be good okay now push everything else over and then crush it and hope we get a bunch of Mostly ceramics, not a ton, but not everything gives ceramics. So we just take what we can get. I'm gonna try not to crush name stuff. So 16 ceramics. You see, we didn't get very many ceramics. That's the thing. Okay, so we needed the mask and we need five more ceramics for the mask. But I think we're at a good place, so that's okay. Uh, let's see here. And what do we need here? Yeah, I could really use those five more ceramics, though, I gotta say. Because the backpack would be a nice one to get out of here with. And then we still needed to buy gloves. Or find some. Okay, let me. Pull in more and see if I can get those last five ceramics. I don't think there's a ton more anyways. Oh, there they are. Okay. Eight. Perfect. Okay, so I, what I'm going to do is the backpack. And pray that we don't get something better. So, here. And then we want Bloodsucker. Boom. All right, cool. Let's go kick some butt. So we still got a little bit to do, but I just need a few more ceramics. So we'll pick those up on the way. But we'll end up about a million, 1.1. And then we're going to use Bloodsucker just stacking crazy.
So eventually we want to look for a better 31 backpack that maybe even already has a Bloodsucker, but something that it's that allows us to have Bloodsucker and 170,000 armor would be ideal, but we may never get that, but it'll be all right. So contaminated alley is a nice quick run. So let's go do this. So the biggest problem I've been having is at the very end, you know, you just a couple of, what do you call it? Like a couple of levels shy of being where you need to be. And it's super annoying because the XP on this map isn't huge, right? At this, at these levels. So you end up having to do a lot more activities than you think you do just for it's a couple of levels, you know, it could take you an hour. Oops, wrong one. So yeah, we're going to be one-shotting everybody and then <laughs> getting crazy armor. I mean, look at our armor bar. Where does it tell me to go? This way? Let me just demonstrate. Here's somebody to kill. You're coming up on the drone. Dig out that transceiver and we'll see oh yeah, there's... there's just... I mean, look at her. That's right away, right? It's level 31 right out of the door. And then it's so easy to kill. <laughs> so you're basically God, you know, and that's a problem. Like if you watch people's gameplay or, or when people are being carried by level 40 players, they're really squishy and they die and they have to hide. And, you know, I like this way because we're just so godly. You know, and this is just the beginning. And so when we perfect our build, every time we go to, through New York, we're just going to be just invincible. And so it doesn't mean you, you can't do the friend carry me strategy. It just means if you do, you're going to be that much more godly. So we're uh, looking for better 31 gear, basically. Right. So there's the gloves that we needed. Right. So we're going to equip that because we didn't need, we didn't have gloves. So now we have our gloves and now we can crush those. And so what that's the what you, you don't really want to level up yet. You know, you want to slow the first time, the very first time you do this, you don't really want to level up. What you want to do is get, try to get the gear. Options. So open caches. And then I'm also just grabbing a couple of resources because we need them for our dealio. So this is the drone and, or drone part, but there's some uh, gear up here too. So it's, it's a nice one to go after. Where am I going here? This way. Transceiver secure. Level thirty one backpack. What do we got? Ours is better. We don't really need still have. drop off their latest surveillance report at a community nearby. There should be some relevant data in there. You should be able to cross-reference the two, then isolate patterns that will point us in the right direction. Alright, so we want to... Uh, roll our gloves. So let's see how many resources we need to do that. We don't need any. So we just needed more gloves. So now I can max this armor out. We just needed to level 31. That's all we needed. Boom. You know, and if some stage 
we find uh next time we do our run if we find or even on this one if we find level 31 gloves with like providence or palisades or bellstone then even better or if we find some headshot damage and even better but we don't really need any damage on our build so and we're almost at an armor uh level of 1 million and so this one we need about 40 And then we've got everything. So it's basically just the mask. Yeah, it's just the mask. And then if we get better drops, then we're good. So yeah, so we need 40 something ceramics and our build is basically done. And then from here, we're just looking for uh, options. Ceramics there. And then your skills, of course, get you that bonus armor too. Ceramics. So interestingly enough, like the real key to making this even smoother than what you're seeing here is again, inventory space. Isn't that funny? <laughs> he just got deleted. Because if we had more inventory space, so if I did more, if I did a better job prepping, basically, I'm saying, then um, we would have had, we wouldn't have had to do more than one countdown run. We could have done just one. Or at least log out. We wouldn't have had to go back and forth. We could have just done two consecutive countdown runs. Which you don't mind doing anyways because your countdown is part of your strategy for for gear, right? For exotics and components. But look at our armor. And wait till I get a better shotgun. <laughs> you know? A shotgun with the talent, which might not happen this run, but... So it's a it's funny it's a lot like it reminds me of descent playing this because it's just the same thing it's like it's kind of a little bit luck driven on you know what what talents are you gonna give but so your character always starts out with the same stuff they always give you the same loadout but the rest is like what do you get along the way in the first moments because after that you're pretty locked in the only thing you need to upgrade is your weapons and you don't need to do that for a while. Not until about level 34. What up, Diablo Raider? Supply room access unlocked. Braza's backpack. It says no green gear really is helpful to us. So if it's green, I basically dump it. Because you can't recal it. That's the point. So we can crush it, though. Um, but let's see where we are here. I know I'm being a little anal about this, but we got 20, 20 more things to come up with here. So let's crush it. We didn't get any. All right, so as a gang of let's go kill some Rikers. A good start, but we need more data if we're going to locate Parnell. I had an agent drop off their latest surveillance report at a community nearby. There should be some relevant data in there. You should be able to cross-reference the two. On my other account, I got a level 32 perfect and breakable chess piece. <laughs> and it's like it's that god rolled skill damage and skill haste on it. It's insane. Super lucky. 
I was like, they're never going to be kill me. I don't even use it. I didn't use it because it was like, they're never going to kill me. They don't get through your bonus armor. <laughs> you know, it's like, they're not going to. Oh, I missed this cave last time. Okay, they don't give you crap for resources sometimes. You notice that it's RNG that determines what you're going to get. So, like, ceramics comes from chess pieces often, but not always. So you grab these because they're a little bit of XP, 5,000, and, you know, at the end of the day, that XP is a showstopper. So this is a, one of the things that running with the group can help you out with is opening these control, I mean, these safe houses, but they only take a second. So... You know, and you don't have to open them all at once. It's a little helpful, but it only saves you maybe five, ten minutes total. And so I feel like a lot of it is mostly on if you guys are simultaneously running missions and then you're fast traveling between them. And that's the fast way to do it. And so we're done. So we can leave now. So that was it. And so... So they'd be saving you that time. And you, you have to come here anyways. So... They're just allowing you to fast travel here if you run with a friend, but you still have to come in here and interact or you won't get credit for it. What up, Dark Risen? Yeah, so I'm, I'm putting together, just updating the, you know, the New York new, new character creating uh, farm, resource farm. So uh, I've been doing it on my other account, and I'm also going to – I'm doing it on this account just to share it with you guys and then also get some feedback and then uh, also see if there's any advantages because this, this account is built out more. And it's – I think there's pros and cons, so there are advantages, but there's also disadvantages, and one of those being that my stash is so damn full – that it does make it a little bit more difficult where on my other account where my stash isn't full i mean i just loaded up the character with resources the new character and so that's what we're doing is basically using countdown to drive named items so that my character look at his armor so it's all junk because it's green All right, let's go kill a rogue. back there. Come on. We don't need to worry about them. Good drone. Good drone. We've Stay with the me. signal from Parnell's drone, and it looks like it's coming from the tombs. Hopefully he'll still be there. At the very least, we'll be able to find some of his equipment. I'll sit in on this one, in case you need some support. Me? I just want to see what weird shit this kid's been up to. I don't remember if there's any gear over here or not. Hostile radio intercepted. So normally I wouldn't be worrying about the little resources or whatever. It's just that I'm looking for that last bit.
Yeah, we need more space constantly, man. <laughs> I get it's never ending, but it it is getting more ridiculous, huh? Did that work? There it is. Furia! What up? Furiosa! Hola! I guess, I mean, I've never done the split up strategy myself, but I guess the way that they do it is they each one can start the mission, but and then before they get to the boss or finish it basically then you fast travel to that person and so everybody's doing the missions at the same time i guess but i've never personally done it but and then you fast travel on them before it's before they finish so And I guess you can do it with even more. Hold on. Let me... uh, if you're willing to log out and log back in, uh, you could like run it with even more than four players. You know, you get into a game chat and say, you know, the person says, hey, I'm here at the end of the tombs. Come to me. I mean, I personally don't like that level of coordinating. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a... I don't like people that much. Maybe that's why. Just kidding. Well, maybe I'm maybe I'm kidding. Is this the right way? This doesn't seem the right way. Where's the audio? <laughs> yeah, screw people. Doing good, Furia. Joined the game. Where are you at in the world? Yeah, leveling new character, exactly. Yeah. I yeah, this is crazy for me though, by the way. Because I deleted my very important mule to do this. And I've been saying I needed to do it again. Because I already have four characters, right? And so but I didn't really need the resources, but I've been working on a new strategy and I was like, yeah, I might as well do it. And it'll be nice to refresh the watch. And then also test this strategy out and see because i want to know what people are going to struggle with you know and not talk about everything in just theory and so i've been working on this with a new account and and then i just figured out yeah it is a different experience when you're dealing with it from a um an experienced player's account because they're going to have less inventory so i need to be more specific this is how many countdown runs you need this is how much space in your stash you need so these are how many things you're going to delete and these are real challenges for people right my characters are always full 
always full. And so I, you have to bite the bullet to do a new character. You have to delete very valuable things. What's in here? Ooh, Providence, but we don't need it because we got a Habsburg. Tempting though, huh? This one, I'm not sure I know how to get in here. You can't get in here, can you? Nothing to shoot. I think this room I haven't figured out. One of these rooms I haven't figured out. I don't have the patience either. Oops, where am I going? I don't think keys are shared, right? If I go in here, it's probably not gonna have a key. Yeah, they're not. Not lame. You know how much easier this would be if you were really able to share resources? Oh. Craft yourself a god build. You're full of lies. You're a little behind the times there, Alani. Catch up, catch up. You judge. Really? What's that about? <laughs> Did we win? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah. What? 
You didn't fall for it. The shotgun though. It's fast. But you could put two shotguns on and then rotate. I fixed the exploit. Shouldn't be a problem anymore. Alright, here we go. Any loot back here? No. Oh, that is so long ago. Oh, he was way off. armor <laughs> you see what i'm saying like so you really don't need to be too anal retentive about your armor not being perfect when you leave the when you leave the office you know but let's see if we have the enough resources now. We do. So let's level up. And now we got a full thing. That pushes us to 1.1 million armor. And then we're getting 100% of that from Bloodsucker. So the only thing you need to worry about is leveling up your weapons from time to time. But... What is it, Parnell? Okay, for him, I like to run the sniper. And then you could be at a good place with your pulse, too, here. What up, big slick lurking? For you, man.
Hold still. Remember which window he opens comes out of here. There he is. So it feels like to be an NPC in the division too, right there. Still. Oh, I'm coming for you. I got you, bro. Are you real? Are you real? Yeah. Give me that shit. Audio's off, so I can't tell if the, there's notifications. Guess it's everybody. Examine Parnell's body. Oops, I didn't mean to sign that. Put that back. All right, let's see if we got anything better. Got the darkness. See, he keeps dropping that, so that's like a guaranteed drop from him, which I do not like. And then mask-wise, we got the Providence. We don't need it, so we do that. Golem, we don't need it. And a U, we don't need it. Walker's better. And Alps versus 31. We're not using repair, so it doesn't really matter. We'll take the health. And then you always want to open up your caches. The lower the gear, the better. That's the trick. <laughs> and I know it's funny. It's reverse how we think, right? But so like, I don't want level 32 because I want this build to be usable by my next level 31 character. So level 32 doesn't do me any good. It's nice. Looks pretty. Don't need it though, right? Because we're God rolled. So. So once you start leveling up, then it's only weapons that we care about. It's only weapons. And then chess pieces too. I mean, it's okay to get like a mid-level chess piece, but ideally I want a level 31, 32 amazing chess piece. 33 is okay too. Fast travel. to it as 
possible. I hate this next mission. Some of these are so boring. I gotta say. There, this is the radar one, you know, you got a real, I mean, the satellite dish. Oh, so boring. Really? Come on, I was done with that reload. Any more resources up here? Yeah, a little bit. Tombs are the worst. Yeah, they're pretty bad. That's the perimeter taken care of. Time to find a way into the building. Electronic device detected. Yeah, yeah, you don't get crap when they start you out. You flip the switch and the power's back on. I did, I did. And reboot the station's network. The station's network is coming back online. Now, for the fun part. Getting Isaac plugged into the satellite dish so we can track down Parnell's server. That way.
audio's getting a little closer. To no audio is kind of annoying because he's giving me prompts. I'm sure I could restart, but. Damn it. All that waiting. I can get you. Stop giving me crap gear, game. Literally giving me crap. The satellite again. much see why I hate this mission you gotta run around looking for these guys it's like really small but a lot of dead ends that's it maybe so they're talking here Saying something like, don't get too excited. Something about a server. I think we're done. <laughs> I guess we're done. There it is. Leave mission area. All right. Once you all guys are into the dish, it shouldn't take too long to find the server and empty it out. Access granted. Okay. Rogue agent deceased. Hey, I'm in. Just need you to buy me a little time so I can track down Pano's server. And no, I don't know how much time. Exercise a little patience, Agent. That was so long ago. His damn signal is bouncing all over the place. Havana, Cairo. Really? 
Rose told us that the peacekeepers and two bridges have been tracking cleaner movements for the past. So let's uh, open this up. This is our best bet to learning more about Connor. She's deep in bed with the cleaners. We broke around. Brooklyn. Where you at? Going to war. I hate those turtle snipers. Ooh, what did he drop? It's gold. I like that. It's going to be a mod, I'm sure. No, it's a badger backpack. Very nice. I'm going to give us more damage, but we don't really need it. Because in the future, we wouldn't be able to use it until we're level 33, and you don't want to save it. It's going to take up stash space. Oh, we got to talk to this guy. Come on, dude. Yeah, you. So it takes a minute. There it is. Okay, he's telling me something. Blah, blah, blah. So this is the safe house. This zone. Sounds like calmly has been busy. Yep. Head to the community and see what they've found. We're getting warmer. Was that a pun? Dog. <sighs> Sounds like colony has been busy. Again, you said that already. She is off her game, Alani. All right, give me a gun. Nope. This stuff is good, though. We can crush it to get more gear. Nope. Head to the community and see what they've found. We're getting warmer. Electronic. See if you can get a hold of the leader here. Electronic device detected. Hey, 
Oh, I hate this mission too. Uh, which way is the exit? We need to get going to the shelter. That's our best lead on Conley. The cleaners like to make sure everything is sterilized. Chances are they'll still be around. <laughs> it's like Dark Zone Insanity, though, isn't it? City is burnt to a crisp. What are they doing? Weirdos. You don't want none of this. Basically bulletproof. They really do feed you a lot of crap gear, though, I gotta say. I mean, all green. Lots of green. This stage should be all blue at least. Hostile radio intercepted. Yeah, you don't get much purple. It does drop, but apparently low ratios. <laughs> I have gotten some. Not in this run, but in the others. It's really rare.
So I think you have to listen to this whole thing, which is annoying. Yeah. So we'll sort through our gear while we're doing that. Palisades level 33. If you need a 10% armor on kill, that's it. <laughs> Ideally, we want it at a level 31, but it's cool. Yeah, I mean, there's a high-end piece, level 33. That's rare. Oh, come on. Or maybe it was done. Secure the second floor. It is done. stairs another fight I'm drawing upstairs. It's the tanker, I think. Vivian goes pretty quick. Conley's still here. Get to the roof as fast as you can, Agent. Roof? <laughs> Confusing me. Recommend alternative route. Extreme heat signature. Thanks to the intel you found at the shelter, we know that Conley operates from the stranded oil tanker next to the Manhattan Bridge. The cleaners have been refining oil there for some time now, presumably under Conley's supervision. Additional intel suggests a weak spot in the perimeter around the complex by a gate to the west. Sounds like you're now equipped to go kick your ass, Agent. Sorta. You guys have been dropping me shitty weapons, though, I gotta say. We should be shotgun with pummel by now, you know what I mean? You guys. You guys. And you're R in Jesus. Hey, you guys will belong here. Time to take down Vivian Conley and 
hopefully get us one step closer to finding that son of a bitch Keener. We know that patrols of cleaners regularly head out to the west gate of their oil refinery. Let's exploit Dude. that opportunity and infiltrate their complex. A lot of peacekeepers are dead because Keener's been using Conde. Find them. Make it count. Good luck, agents. Vivian, I'm coming! Remember how hard this felt when we first played it? You had to be more, way more strategic than I am. And it is like that if you strip yourself of the armor, you know, it's... You realize how hard they punch. got hit by that mortar. Come on, what's these? Scared him.
If you guys ever see that movie, there was one that came out recently. Can't remember if it was Netflix or whatever, but it starts off with a stranded tanker on the beach. It's like the world is the end of the world. It had to do with the end of the world. Basically, some sort of elaborate um, terrorist hack. They went after the U.S. infrastructure, but it was a really interesting movie. leaving the world behind yeah didn't you think it was good it was a thinker it was weird how it ended up well i guess i don't want to give up the end but come on man slowing my oh fucking worst angle ever there it is Oh, she did not want to come out of cover. I see her foot, though. Worst enemy ever. There it is. <laughs> yeah, but th I think that's a real theory, too. The, the, the misinformation uh, strategy on the hack was really interesting, too. Um, but yeah, how much we rely on technology is for real, right? I mean, that's what some of these, you know, coming out of third world terrorist type countries bank on. It's our Achilles heel and it's our strength, right? It's crazy. Think about it that way. God, his reach is bullshit. Well, wow, they give, they're not giving up weapons to us, man. By level 33, we should have our, our additional weapons. Better drop on this mission. Be irritated. I mean, it's not a big deal. You're not going to save your level 33 weapons, really. I mean, you can. But you really don't want to occupy your stash space with stuff you don't use very often, right? And you can see how powerful we are. I mean, we're still at a level 30. What is this? Level 31 weapon, right? But if we don't upgrade by about level 36, we'll start to feel it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. That's right. That's that's what I'm working on, Dark. So we're going pretty fast, right? It's about as fast as I can get it. I mean, obviously we start out slow because we we're creating our first build, but next time we can skip that. Conley. 
Just belong to me. Ass is grass. Ass is grass. You could also run feature perfect. Get crazy skills too. Seem likes to catch me on fire. Hold on. One down. Vivian. She's toast. anymore boss is dead lady and there goes Vivian so we're halfway done I'm a little worried about my XP being so low for being halfway you see the problem for going faster than the XP and the problem is you got to be a keener at 40. Sounds like Conley's really invested in this oil business. I guess now you know which buttons to push. What up, geezer? It's good, man. We are working out a new strategy for running through New York to build up your resources. That's what this is. That's what we're interrupting our normal farming for. Okay, let's see if they... So I bet you we get this Golan Wicked backpack. They keep giving this to me. And then we get the castle. So we got to do the castle as I understand it. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, Andy Betty. But as I understand it, we have to do the castle. But we need the XP anyway, so there's that. Okay. Um, so we're headed over here, and so we can go ahead and fast travel. Right on, Deja. I like that. Glad to be entertaining. Hopefully. Eat my Australian licorice. This map is slow. Oh, right on. I remember that. Sorry if I'm uh Good luck, man, with your stream, geezer. Kick butt, brother. Kick butt. Ooh, we get an Alps mask at 34. But anyways, we don't want to waste any of our resources on this. Again, you don't want to save anything. I mean, you can on weapons, 
if you see anything really appealing, but we don't. Okay, so let's see what we got. Sorry if I'm chewing in your ear. So still not getting the weapons that we like, but boo. So again, this is all crap. So I don't delete it right away. I kind of just sit on it and then decide if I want to sell it. There's a level 33 shotgun. So we can level up our shock, take this shotgun. So the reason why I'm not a fan of it is because it doesn't have a talent and that's what we're looking for, right? It needs to be purple. So, but at least it's more powerful. So we'll take it. And I'm not gonna waste resources on, resources on it because we don't need to, you know? So we were killing with the level 31 all the way. And that's sort of what I'm showcasing, right? Is that you can just barrel through, <laughs> barrel through. So there it is. See, they keep giving me the same gear. So it's the Anarchist Cookbook, and it's a great backpack. It's stronger than what we got, but when it comes to um, base armor, but I'd rather have Bloodsuckers doing more work for us. So, so we'll just fingers crossed we get some better luck on our weapons, and then I'm not worried about anything else. Otherwise, you know, the build's working for us, and it'll work for us all the way to Keener. So, Roger B, what up? Right on, Cable. You got it, man. I got your back. All right. So let's head over to this Kajija. Kajija. Kajiva. Kajiva. Am I saying it right right now? I feel like I'm not. Kajiva. That sounds right. Yeah, I'm just not a particular fan of any of these missions, you know? Looking for loot. Might as well take a pit stop. Like, when I think of... So, you know what's interesting? They make Kajiva immune, right? So, last time I ran this... Last night... I mean, I killed him twice before getting to the end. Twice I killed him! <laughs> and he's immune. You used to be able to actually kill him. And so you kill him, but he doesn't die, is what I'm saying, right? Lame. Oh, wait. I want that loot right there. You really don't want to do too many side things you know what i mean you want to minimize all of that it's mostly about xp otherwise is the only reason why you want to sidetrack too much i'm just being annoying right now really not following my own advice because i'm treasure hunting the store not oh this is one of these annoying things gotta go around and i remember this i remember trying to figure this out the first time it's a good little treasure trove though if we didn't need the loot we need to, we're looking for weapon cases can i go up this way no I don't remember how to get up there, but I'm not going to waste my time too much here. We need to stay on mission. Because again, you know, it's not really about leveling up, is it? It's not. Nothing's a keeper here. It's all junk. It's about getting out of here. So there's a drone over here is what we're after. There's a drone that Kajiva dropped or lost or got destroyed and we're investigating it. And then some dudes get clever and try to ambush us this way.
Gets them at the door, it all goes a lot faster, doesn't it? Because they otherwise they run around, spread out and shit on you. So this is the, now we're going to the church, I believe. To unlock, which is a safe house. Yeah, I can't wait to see what they do to Brooklyn, right? Like, it could be pretty cool. Expand this map. Make it more interesting. They really... I would really appreciate them working out the fast travel situations. The fast travel in here is horrible. It's like the world's smallest map, yet you can't get anywhere easily. <laughs> That's the weird... It's ironic. Or a nothing to interact with. Okay, so we should have another. There's a JTF. That's what we're looking for. A JTF is a hasn't reported back. Let me go check it out. Yeah, also that. <laughs> See if there's anything down here. Uh, yeah, weapon cache. Nope. A random street fight, random two dudes. I wonder if these people up here are still trying to play with that dog. What are they looking at? Yeah, we're just going to barrel through this. Ooh, I didn't notice that stash right there. I need to get that. when I get their backpack because it staggers me. Which shotgun I run just depends on the drop, you know. So sometimes I get lucky and I get the M870 all the way through. But this one's cool too because the M870 you notice the reloads, right? But eventually you get pummel. But I was noticing pummel isn't reloading every three kills. It's like it has a cooldown on it. So I was in here just slaughtering fools and was still reloading. I was like, I'm getting my three kills. There's a super 90 though. That could be fun. They're pretty close, this gun and the super 90 though, aren't they? This looks like there's a stash up there, but go check. So it's 230, but it's a level higher. That's why. 
but the tactical SASG is faster and the reload is better. We're killing so much, the reload does matter. So I'll take reload over power since we're killing everything so quickly anyways. Get that key. Black Tusk key won't be helpful. I can do it. What's this about? Is that like the worst loot cave ever? I mean, all that's in here is a stupid toolbox. It is. Worst loot cave ever. I mean, they, they give us a lot of tools. Boxes in, in New York, I noticed. And it's like, where am I going to use all this stuff? It's, I can get more of that than anything. Components. Not helpful. Pistols, technically. Yeah, Deja. Yeah. But shotguns are up there. Any one-shot kill weapon is one of my favorites. And so shotguns, yeah. And pistols. I really like pistols in the Division 2. Big fan of pistols. Really? What's going on? Standing there like an idiot. stash there can I get up there no it's annoying Got a brace. I don't know why you're not dead yet, buddy. Maybe I'm hitting your hands too much. Is that the deal? echoes yeah I don't know I mean I have my days bro Deja I do I have my days appreciate you though 
I mean, I, and I put a, I put a lot of time into my sniper builds because I like them so much. That really helps. You know, you just you get that muscle memory. All right, we got a chest. Cash. Let's see what's in it. Then I think that gets us to Kajiva. Damn, they're really not giving us weapon selection, but whatever. I mean, it's a rifle, got a talent. I mean, I could probably, let's try it. I'll put it on and see if I can put on. Nah, I don't wanna waste my time resources it's gonna say this it, it's probably strong enough to a headshot kill but i still need to find a better chest anyways so we've done that all right we need to look at our map and we should have a new mission right yeah there it is pathway but let's, um, see if we can kick that out too while we're here. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, for P for, um, console, It takes a little a little more umph, a little more elbow grease to master, but I do use a um, an Elite controller. I adopted one for the first time, but I guess it's been about two years now. And I, I'm heavy-handed, too, so <laughs> I probably wear my gear out more than anybody else. I hold my triggers hard. So I'm doing this because, you know, this is going back to our discussion where we first started the stream, which is the problem I'm having is I'm getting to, uh, I'm unlocking Liberty, I'm unlocking Keener, and then we're, we don't have the XP to go with it. So we're basically going faster than what the game wants to. Lettuce. Um, and so to get around that, you have to do some of these activities along the way. And so when you see one that's in your general <laughs> or close as possible, I guess, to the direction you're going. And then if it's an elite thing like this one is, that's also going to be helpful. Because elite gives you more XP. Maybe better loot too, we'll see. You're hitting pretty hard. Cause see, normally you're going after those SHD caches and those also give you XP just for opening them. Oh, give us a name boss, huh? He is fucking tanky. Could use a stronger gun on him. He was hella tanky. Key. 
Oh, we're going to get a ton of loot here, guys. That was a good call. LMG, which I don't like. Thank you, pieces. I need them later. Okay, so that was XP. That's why we did that. All right, now to Kajiva. Oh, there's a control point too. We'll take that because it's on our path. It's the kind of shit we want. I do not do this one very often. I've got to say, like, I don't even recognize it. I mean, it's had to be like two years since I've done this one, literally. I shit you not. Hang out here, huh? The skills are out there doing the job. All right, now we gotta defend, I guess. Take your sweet time, why don't you? I have to go to him. Just take him forever. Jesus, he's way back there. Ooh, 1886, level 35. Too bad it doesn't have a talent on it. But that's a fun one. It'd be game over if it did, man. <laughs> 1886 is determined at whatever level. Doesn't even matter. At level 31, probably carry you all the way through. Only one. 
protection from evil mod. I like that. 10% <laughs> protection, 12% protection from fools mod. These little subways up. Oh, it's not real. It's a fake subway, a decoy subway. But they have they're like little mini loot caves, aren't they? Go away. Ah, oh, you're not gonna go away. There we go. Let's probably take these guys out because they're annoying. All right, Kajika, you son of a bitch. I'm coming for you. The Battery Park District was devastated Where by flooding after Hurricane. Here. It's more like a swamp than anything else now. There used to be a lot of concentrated wealth down here. Most of the locals used their resources and connections to get out before the city was locked down. Most people didn't have that option. Good night, Lorenzo. Who did he just kill? Horn power. I know what to do. I know what to do. Welcome to the party. Just no drops, man. They just don't drop very much gear, huh? Kind of weird.
Let me in, let me in, let me in. That keypad turned green, there it is. I'm getting tired of that stagger. Just can't avoid their tanks. They sell it to you like it's a good thing, but it's not. They're more annoying. Get their weak point. Oh. Just blows up in my face. You know, you share apparel, right? So you get your apparel on your new character right away. That's something, huh? Forgot about that. Now we look cool. Not showing off my guns anymore. You liked it, it. All right, let's kill Kajiva. This sucker. He won't die. John was a good man. Oops. Fucking stagger. <laughs> she disintegrated. Killing Kajika, killing Kajika, killing Kajika. Come here. Yeah, you're dead. See? He's dead. You won't die. I remember when that was a problem. You used to be able to kill him there. And it was hard. People struggled to do it, but with the right strategy, they, they got it. Some a bitch. So my other character, I got uh, one piece of palisades underneath all of it, and it's enough to keep you from ever having to use an armor kit. Not that we're really worried about it right now, but man, they keep giving us skill crap. But a little bit of he uh, natural heals happening underneath the chaos would be a good idea. For the unexpected, you know. The apparel, yeah, the apparel is account wide and um, mod attachments weapon mods and stash that's it not very much until you get back to new york and then everything is I mean, back from New York to Washington, D.C. Another mod. I mean, what is that?
Everybody dead? I think so. Don't make me snipe you. God damn it. Really? I just wondered if you can go back there. The answer is no. There you go, that big guy. Wouldn't that be cool to have that kind of shotgun and shotgun like that? Like the St. Elmo's of shotguns? Just got all the way back there, huh? That is a weak ass sniper. That needs to be fixed. Especially since I'm missing all the time with it. Agent, you're gonna need to get the power back up and running. There should be a maintenance room near your location. I'm Kajika, let's do it. Let me out. Kind of, yeah. Kind of. But, you know, the shock is so limited on that. Shock is crazy, right? I mean, and that's why we love the St. Elmo's. And then, they, I mean, the uh, Scorpio. And then they gave us the same uh, St. Elmo's. And it's like, whoa. <laughs> it was a smart move to give us that gun because we really like shock. 
extremely powerful. I mean, we hate it when somebody else has it, right? When a boss comes at you. Uh, one of the um, the outcast bosses, when they have it, it sucks. Random crap. What's with all the mods? Don't kick the tux, man. Don't kick the tux. Did they really? I gotta go check that out. Thunder strike missing. And no, I'm talking to some sorry. Yeah, the confusion. Uh talking to also uh YouTube. See, this is why I need a strong sniper. I'm disappointed that I don't have one yet. That purple should be going down in one shot. I mean, our sniper should be so strong right now that we should be one shotting them with the chest. And it's just like literally not giving me any weapons. I'm getting like nothing but mods. It's just... And we're barely getting any drops as it is, right? It's just this game mode. Well, only doesn't give you mod uh, drops. I mean, we got so many more drops in uh, the main campaign than this. Welcome to the party. Where's the party at? There's a gas tanker right there. I see it. There you are, you fucker. with the shock. Again. Let's 
So yeah, you can kill him twice and he survives. See that? That's messed up, huh? Sound is no bueno. Yeah, it is 10 seconds. Look at you, you're everywhere, Mr. Rum. Yeah, uh, Twitch is faster. Yeah. And then it's and then YouTube is also 10 seconds behind me. So Twitch is more real time. Traps, dude. He's trying to trap you. Get away yeah, from that seam and He's winning. Okay. He's got me my turret out now. <laughs> I'm really struggling with those traps. <laughs> Partly because I can't fucking hear him. And so normally I can try to tuck and roll out of that shock. The sound is all funky. Traps, dude. You must be getting close to their drill. I lost contact with the supply team. The vision must have made it through. Come on, Kajika. Oh, you're down there already. We have enough fuel Shit, I didn't know you were. Maybe. There it is. Mozambique special, he always drops that. They all drop the same named items every time. There it is. All right, thirty level thirty six too, basically. Rogue agent deceased. <sighs> All right, one down. Now it's his drag off, and he's my favorite one. Level thirty six. And that's a side mission, but I think that's a side mission. Skeletor was saying we can ignore. And we do have to do the castle though, but we we could save that for later because it's right next. It's sort of next to what's his face. Whatever his face, his name is Sheriff. What's up, Sheriff? What's going on? Glad to see. You. Glad to see you came through. That sound is annoying. I might have to log out and log back in. Fix that. 
Let me land first because that's that's annoying. Maybe I'll exit the game completely. It's I should have done it a long time ago, but I feel like it's in the missions is getting worse because it wasn't happening last night on my other account. At least you can't hear any of the audio. Yeah. So let me uh, let me quit game. Hard reset here. Just. I can't believe we're finally doing this. This is crazy. I've been talking about it for like a year. <laughs> cause I didn't really need the resources. I'm not using them for expertise, you know, just cause I'm at level 22, 23 or whatever. just to load up on resources but mostly to test the strategy i wanted to like i said earlier i wanted to see the differences between when a new account does it like i did already and an experienced account does it so okay now we're on this guy quick break give me a second here All right, I'm back. And look who's joined, though. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, where were we? The SIG is good. Yeah, I like the SIG. CQB is really nice. Okay, so we leveled up, so we should have got some more gear. So let's unlock our goodies. All right, we got this good sniper. That's what we're talking about. So like I said earlier, you want to level up your weapons as you go. But around this level is when it starts to matter. So we got exactly what we're looking for. And so the sweet deal is now that we can uh, tinker that marksman and to putting on... Uh, we need to cash in on some money here, but we're going to put on determined, right? And go around poking people in the chest and killing them. So we'll do that. Um, what do we need to make that happen? Just, uh, we got good steel. So just about, about 2,200. All right. And then let's see what else we got.
So we'll mark that as favorite. And then we're not too worried about gear still. But we did get a high end at 35. That's something. Mark it as favorite too. Because when you play this with future accounts, all the high end gear is going to be. Um, use once and throw away because you'll just keep earning more high-end gear unless you have real bad luck which we were almost there let's see if we got a revolver give me a revolver no it's not a stupid mozambique tdi card hold on to that in case i don't get anything better level 35 wyvern huh and then knees All these crappy mods, which we can basically sell if we need to. We're not going to use any of them. Because, again, I use my mules as mules. I don't play with them. So I just use a one build that I transfer to all of my mules uh, if I do need to do something with them, like a project. Okay, so we're going to change out the gun. And then we still haven't gotten a better chest piece, which is absolutely incredible. <laughs> I got to say, let's see if there's something here. Nope. Yeah. See, this stuff levels up with you, but not in variety. So it's annoying. Okay, so let's go into inventory. We need to sell about 2200 So let's sell the named items first. So that we can use the non-named items to crush if we need other resources. All right. So we really want a headhunter to, to pair up with this, but we're on our way. Oh, does that, that reminds me, did we do all our gear? We did, right? We're just looking for a better chest piece. Yeah, okay. So this, Tinker, drop this to Determined. So and we'll take any chest piece, any chest piece that can handle a talent. And then we'll, we'll be able to do it on the fly but we need to know how much money we're going to need to do that so we're going to want to sell some stuff probably let me see what my resources are probably about five thousand is what we're going to need right um and what do we got right now not very much e credit so let's sell some more uh sell so just the ex most expensive stuff so basically We don't have to do this all now. We might not even get that chest piece, but we're gonna need currency for any change we make, so. Okay, I'll hold here in case we need this stuff. All right, but Dragov's mission pays out. He's got a couple of loot caves right at the end that are really nice. And then as you can see here, we we can craft this chest, which by the way is an amazing chest. It would be worth it if you wanted to go that route, but we don't need it. Uh, what we need is one that we can put a damage talent on and that doesn't do it. What about a random brand one? It's purple. This would be worth it, right? Let's try it. I wonder how, was this here the whole time? It probably was. I have to check or test that next time, but this is a big deal. 
it's random, but because it's purple, it's going to come with crafting capabilities. Watch. There it is. Wow. And it's with focus. That's technically a badass chest. But we could have, we might have been able to do that at level 31. I'm going to have to destroy this account and figure it out. <laughs> to be honest with you, that's the only way to know. Right? I, and so it levels up too, but I think it was there the whole time. And so we could have crafted a level 31 superior, I think. Maybe? I don't know. But that's badass. So now we can put on a right chest talent. But let's see what it's going to cost us to do that. We might need some more resources. So tinkering. Oh, wait. Let's do this. 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 We need... Uh, all we need is money. So that's great news. So we need about 3,000. Yeah. 5,200 in credits. That's great news. I mean, we still need... Um, A really good pistol would be nice, you know, because they're easier to use than a scopeless sniper. Which is probably what I'm going to do. But at least we got a really good sniper to go scopeless, which is the M700. Sell the low quality crap first. There we go. So just enough. All right. And then click on that. Click on that. Focus. And then head under. Was that right, Sentinel? It was always there. And I just didn't scroll down low enough. Is that what? Is that right? Okay, I'll check. I'll check Thunder Strike. Um, I'll just look here. Talents. Behind you. Yeah, maybe it is gone. Let me look at level 30. I've seen it though. Huh. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, there it is. We got everything now. And so this is going to be basically our build. But ideally, we want, if I would have known this early, I would have totally crafted a lower 31 version. Almost want to delete this account and do it. But we could obviously do it next time when we, when we, uh, crush this account. All right, let's uh, do this dude now. That Wall Street completely locked down. But we've had agents scouting his compound for weak points. There's always one. Check in with the local community. Gotcha. It's just like stabilized then, huh? We're stabilized, glitched. So we got the TAC-50. So our strategy is the same. Raw Rowdy, 16 months. Look at you with your gold school. You're heading into the financial district. Home of the Thank you, Van, for your commitment. Powerful economies. Look where that got them. It's people like you. Keep my dream alive. So this is our, our strategies once we get ammo again, apparently, is to use the TAC-50, get our first headshot, and then from there we can shoot everybody in a body. See that? Now what I'm going to do is take it scopeless, and then we're going to change our mods out. So we'll put on uh, weapon handling, and then... I'll take, uh, I guess, reload speed, stability, plus five rounds. Sentinel Deja, thanks for your sub. You rock. You're also keeping the dream alive. You, you. I can't wait to do our... Uh, Hunter's tutorial. I'm planning on doing that with my new account. That's one of the, the other new account. 
Do you think there's some gear in here? Nah. Just a bunch of liquor. So yeah, it's just like our XP farm build. So everything's going to be the same. Same strategy, you know. And except we're going to be even more godlier in here because they just can't break us down. Where are you, you Robin? All right here. So the the downside is by running with this chest, we did lose some armor, but it's worth it because the bonus armor is still going to keep us up, but we're going to be able to play a lot faster. Just less shots. That's exactly what it means. This community leaves a lot to be desired when it comes to security, but at least they have an open door policy. That looks like the snitch right there. The food bank. Ah, uh, there it is. Looks like the agents did their research. They mapped the compound inside and out. Let's act on this ASAP. The sooner we kick Drag off, we've got a line on Drag off. He's leading a group of Rikers that took over Wall Street. This ain't gonna be a cakewalk. Drag off protects them like their family. So we got Drag off, and then the pier, and then the castle. Oh, so we're pretty close uh, in line with where we need to be XP wise, but. I might want to take on one or two activities that are convenient along the way. Hold on. There it is. 1.5 million. 2.6. We're kings. So there's a control point and there's a territory control. Yeah, these are nice. Where'd it go? Oops. I hate that gas stuff, man. It lasts forever. Oh, they're way out there. Where the hell are they coming from? Jesus, you really missed that weapon handling that you have by default on your other character. Healer mask. Oh, I hate the Celebration Hotel. I'm skipping it for now. Portable electronic device detected. 
That song, right? So if you get a revolver in your as a drop, it just gets even crazier how fast you can go. And you don't have to worry about ammo or anything like that. It's nuts. Somehow I always end up over here. Going to this laundry room. The odds. There's a weapon crate though, I'll take it. Ooh, look at that, Brazos. It's not worth the resources, though. So we'll spend whatever resources we have left on Keener, basically. Now, most stuff... I mean, you don't need to spend any resources on him because you could just bring everything over from your other character. Who was that? There it is. You're coming up on Dragov's outer perimeter. Remember, you're all love this set. song. So good. Supply depot, raid it. Denying Dragov that stockpile will also deny Keener's crucial support. Be careful. I still don't like the idea of throwing in the wolves, no matter how much we want Dragon first roll in the city hall attack. Electronic device detected. Hostile radio intercepted. I hear gunfire. Report. The loading area by Broad Street is under attack. It's the division. Sell the gate. Use the APC. Do not let them raid the stockpile. I'm gonna meet my music for this song because I like this song too much. It's just that, that deep, what is that, bass of some sort? Sounds like a tr um, what instrument is, what am I thinking of? Tuba. You guys suck. Duchess. <laughs> it's like a name somebody would name their poodle. Here, Duchess. Incoming. Hostiles. Incoming. 
So I make sure I get a kill every now and again. I don't want my skills to do all the work so I can maintain my... Determined without having to reproc it. Because we don't have good handling, so it's easier to just let your skills do some of the work. But not all of it. One shot on bosses. I'm wondering. I was tempted to not. <laughs> just in case I lost it, but. Duchess. Oh, there's gear up here, isn't there? Got about that. A little vector? That'd be fun too. But Ah gear over here no I'm imagining things Says you absolutely need to rush this. It cannot. It's, I think it's the plywood. <laughs> kind of breaks the concept, doesn't it? A little bit. Pull out the tack. Activate. Second activation shot. Was that a miss? No way. The fuck? Uh -huh. Making me waste ammo. You first, then, huh? Again. What's up with that? Fuckers. Bad handling. Or it's the user. From the across the street. real easy to hit their hand that's the deal you gotta really aim high there it is all right so once you're active 
So I'll let my skills take the boss. Mod. Oops, got a helmet guy. Head. <laughs> Sucker. Oh, there it is. It's green, you fuckers. <laughs> it was a snub nose, but it was green, right? Yeah, and you can't roll green. That's just mean, man. That's just mean. I'm telling you. Really? You fucker. I'd love to give me mods too. Damn it, drone! Ah, oh. <laughs> shoot my own drone. Knuckles, good name. If you're Sonic the Hedgehog. What up, Luch Ball? Doing good, doing good. Leveling New York. I deleted my fourth character like a crazy man. Come on. Providence backpack. God. See, they start hitting harder, too, by the way. Where we are right now, level-wise. 
Uh, part of it's because I'm not maintaining my bonus armor, but I could still tell. I noticed that last time I was here. On this level, you start feeling it. It's that body flinch, so I had a hard time trying to get that sniper shot when they're shooting me and I'm flinching all over the place. So basically your strategy here is just to get them to put their backs towards your turret. And then your turret will blow up their backpacks. So basically big circles. Yeah. Go up. So he's down. Oh, he'll up there. Oops, wrong one. Yeah, I know you guys see me. Hold on. There we go. Okay, let's turn him around. Back in line. Really? Fucking dick. Should be dead. Come on, Knuckles, get back over here. In the corner. Oh. Thank you for the skill. Great work, Agent. He gives you the point, man, huh? But we still need to find out where he was moving those supplies for Keener. I'll follow up with Rhodes and see if we can find a lead. There's level 37. All right, we got the pier. We got to do the pier, and then we're we're done. So we have to keep an eye on our level. Because we're still two and a half levels away, so we, we gotta do another activity or two. Oh, we still have the castle, so that'll help a little bit. And so, this he's a loot cave, this guy, too, by the way, right? Because there's not only this, but right outside the gate, there's more. This was a cool mission. I think this is the best mission, the whole thing. Okay, so what we're hoping for is a really good revolver. A 
level. There's a behind you rifle. Starting to see that elite gear, huh? The gold gear, high end. Nothing to get excited about there, though. You know, I wonder if it's worth at this stage to do my other two characters too. You know, like basically do the same exercise since we already cleaned our stash. So before we fill their stashes again to, you know, go to my number two character, crush him, spin his watch down, crush him, and then drag him through New York. I mean, if you do it that way, fuck, right? You end up with a lot of resources. You probably don't have to do it for a while at that stage. And there's no real hurry. I mean, you can do it on the side. Well, there is a little bit of a hurry because it's occupying your stash, right? Because you can't fill it. You're missing 150 slots, so you kind of want to get in and get out. But it's kind of a good season for it because the only thing you're really probably farming for is Palisades, you know, and Aegis is not that great. And next season you could get some pretty darn good stuff. All right. So what do we got out here? So we got the pier and then the castle and then we have this control point along the way where am i right now there Yeah, so that wasn't that bad. I mean, it took me a little bit longer. But next time, I'm curious to see what happened, how fast it goes when I already have the build. See you, Diz. 4 a.m., yeah. I know that schedule. Ooh, 700 slot stash? What? Nobody's told me that. Lau! Come in! Come in, Lau! This is Agent Lau. We've been attacked! The Rikers attacked the Hell's Kitchen settlement! Everyone okay? Okay, let me pull out some gear here. They breached the perimeter! Ooh, we got a good shotgun. Upgrade that shotgun. So, now we can put pummel. And that saves us some reloads. So let's see how much we need to make to do this. About 4,000. We don't really need to, though. Because we're almost done. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you can. We can. We can sell our crap. But let's see what we have to come up with. Because, again, all this stuff is just going to be garbage in the end. So, you want the only thing that's really worth keeping is the level 31 stuff. and Like this shotgun, basically. Or this one, if you wanted it. But I think that tactical worked really good. I mean, everybody was dying really easily with it. Okay, let's see what else did we get. So, Wyvern with Versatile. Nah. 511. No. Providence. And so part of me wants to like not run a level 40 build in here from my other character and just kind of like wing it and see what it feels like. Because I feel like, you know, we normally do it with our random build, right? You know, without transferring stuff from our other account. I guess in the past is what I'm saying. And so 
it wasn't that hard to kill Keener. You know, he wasn't. My point is, he wasn't that difficult. I mean, he's harder than most content, sure. Okay, so now we can sell basically five thousand with this stuff. So I'm gonna go for the named items first. They're not as valuable down here at these lower levels, are they? It's like the the higher the rank of the gear, the more valuable it is. That's why we want that level forty named stuff. Thousand a pop. All right, that's good. And then we can put pummel on this shotgun. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, that's what we're doing. So anyways, my point is either way is that between now and Keener, you don't have to worry about resources anymore because it's just Keener and you're level 40 and you could just bring everything over. So you're now able to, you can get rid of everything if you wanted to. Okay, but we're good. We got, we got that. And let's go for a stroll. Let's go kill something. Got a couple of uh, little activities here we can do, including that. Um, but I want to take these while I have them. And I also see a convoy that might come through. So let's go for that first. Again, it's about making sure that when we're done, when we get to level 40, Liberty is unlocked right around the same time. And so what happened to me last time is that there were no activities really nearby. There was like one or two. And then that wasn't, you know, you're just getting a little droplets of XP. And then I, I was having to go all over the map to find an activity because they were spread out. Typical New York shit, you know? We just cleared this control point. All right, so let's see pummel. Oops, wrong gun. These guys come from very far away. You notice that? Like in... Yeah, they're starting to hit harder, but that's not really the problem. The problem is that I don't have a piece that's giving me my armor back. You know, like armor on kill or something like that. And so ideally, on the next time we run a character through, if we can find that piece at level 31, like a bellstone at least, but a palisades is nice. And ideally, you want that somewhere on your gloves or something like that, because then you don't have to, you don't have to stress which one it is. So we want to replace this 511 with the Palisades in future runs. Oh, this is this one, all right.
One shot in elites. We got the juice. The control points scale too, don't they? So I think we get more XP now off of this than if we would have done it earlier. At least that's how the, it doesn't works on the first map. In Washington DC. So what I'm saying is like a level 36 control point is giving you more XP than a level 35 control point. Are we scaring you guys away? Convenient. So that's a convoy too, very helpful. Let's get out of here. There we go. That pushes us to 38. Close. All right. Get our stuff here. And remember, we still got the castle. So I think that's required, right? Oh, any tips? Uh... The shield splinter is the uh, DC one, though, right? I don't have any good tips for you, man. You need a good build. That's a tough one because there's so many. Hunters are hard, right? They're hard at any level. They're hard. Um, and so just a good build for the hunters is what you need. And one of the best weapons against them is the St. Elmo's, and the other one is the shotgun. So those, that's my first tip, is to get, make sure you have those two weapons. Agent, you're going to want to hear this. There's red smoke billowing from the... So the two weapons I talk about is Scorpio and the St. Elmo's. So make sure you have those. And then you got to do all the Washington, D.C. hunters. Yeah, that's a true. That's true. Do it on normal. That's a great idea. That's a good tip. Or, or have a buddy with you, too, is also helpful in case you go down. Uh, but they jam your skills, so you don't really want a skill-heavy build. Keep your distance from the hunters. Because it's the reason why this all matters is because it sucks when you put all this effort into spawn a hunter, and then it doesn't go your way. Let's see what the XP is on this. Does it tell us? 251. Yeah, side missions don't scale, do they? I think we could have done this earlier. You know, I don't know if they, they changed the rules. So I'm assuming they don't scale. It didn't look like it was a scaled number. But, you know, I don't know if they kept it consistent. You would think they would. Let's 
these kills are strong. Too strong. There we go. What is this stupid thing? See how far they come away from? It's like, jeez. Same thing happened last time too. Is that then they get caught up in these other side fights. But I'm going to have to try to keep track of how many side activities I end up doing. So I might have to watch this back through. But I'm, I think it's at least four. So I can give some sort of advice. Like, you're going to want to do at least three or four, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> that kind of advice. Like a hurricane came through here, huh? I haven't been able to contact the JTF at the castle since we heard about the red smoke. We're pretty sure it's another one of Keener's bioweapon attacks. We need you to secure any survivors and find out how the contagion was released. No survivors! Like got here first. Agent, take them out. Make me come up there. Get inside the castle and look for the source of the contamination. Goes way faster with the sniper build. Come in, anybody. This is Dan Abbott requesting immediate backup in Castle Clinton. We've got a survivor. Contaminated area. Agents, we need to get the ventilation system back online. I don't know how much longer I can hold out in here. Looks like Isaac's picking up an exhaust fan. You'll need to switch it on to get rid of the smoke. Leaving contaminated area. We 
advanced team from a Terran supply crew. It's still in the courtyard. Got it. Nobody's safe. I'll tell the cleanup crew to bring Dan back to Haven. But now, get to the courtyard and find that crate. Unknown biological compound detected. Stay focused, Agent. The crate should be close. Got the crate's location pinned down. The cleanup crew is ready to move. They'll head in as soon as the castle is secure. Isaac's pulling data from the security systems. We might be able to construct an echo and find out what happened here. This may take a while. They've got cleaner reinforcements incoming. Find a good spot and finish them off. Just land a shot, right? I'm coming, big fella. Where's my drone? Not shooting, huh? Let's reconstruct that echo. Suckers. All right. Ooh, Cobra SRS. Even better. It's faster. But it's a higher level, so. See if we can, though. Hey, Faye, any news on Keener? Not much, but we're starting to get a clearer picture of what he's been up to. The city hall attack and the factions were meant to spread us thin, distracting us from his real plan. Real plan? The eclipse virus. Ooh, we just leveled up. Contaminated area. Another M700 with determined already on it. How perfect is that? Even better. <laughs> See that? Boom. So, yep, we just leveled up. All right. So let's mod it up. Exiting contaminated area. All right. So we're at 38. Distress. Pretty messed up, huh? We got the... Uh, We have, this is our last thing to do before we get to Liberty. And so we got to be at 40 by Liberty. Portable device detected. Now wait about an hour and then row as hard as you can for the other shore. You want to wait. Got this part of the Hudson flows both ways. Now it's 
Oh yeah. Oh, I can go this way. This is a hunter spawn location right here, by the way. I don't need to talk to you. All right. Oh, there's an elite. Deal with y'all. See if I can get to that. You don't actually have to get a headshot to get a kill, but it's more fun. You're noticing that they're dying of body shots. Where are the guys coming out of? This truck? It was like an endless mag, man. That was easy. My time to shine. Our time Supply to room shine. access. Unlocked. Let's go get our loot. You need a level and a half. That's crazy. See, if the XP was on par, we, we could have been done by now, right? It's a nice palisades back there. That's what screws you is the XP. It really does. You could be done. We could have been done. Luckily, we're getting lucky here, though, by having a bunch of these little activities right next to each other. Detecting 
Same truck, huh? Let's head over to the pier. Agent, Benitez looked into Riker's activity and found something interesting. I've got a line of which Riker's... All right, all right. Let's see which direction are we going. This way. Oh. The pier is kind of annoying. <laughs> There's that part where you have to go up, up and down, up and down, and then the barge. It's it's kind of an annoying little. There's quite a few of those in this story. I guess it's all interesting the first time you do it, right? <laughs> but it's basically always the same formula. Push a button and wait. Push a button and wait. that many people guarding an empty building. The Rikers are here for some. Recent aerial footage shows some chemical spillage on the east side and some Rikers activity on the north. This may be related to Keener's bioweapon. Really? Scope them boy. We'll get to the bottom of this. Exothermic reaction initiated. Jump.
fixtures and providing the correct dispersal under pressure. We're following your instructions. If you need a different chemical ratio, then you need to provide it. None of these guys are chemists. Yeah, that's not what their records say. Fuck off with that shit. My instructions have gone through rigorous testing. You guys can't follow them and get me some who can. Fuck! Get that reaction under control! It's not stopping! Then dump it, you useless fuck! Looks like I... you swallow the operation there, drag off. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I hate to break in on this little party, but I finished some more analysis of Isaac's data from the Wall Street compound. It's not good. It's like they need some quality control. Dispersal mechanisms and cultures for growing viruses. Dragov's helping Keener with his bioweapon. We need to shut this whole operation down. Agent, secure the north side of that pier. Any supplies the Rikers are prepping to send need to go up in smoke. Do not, I repeat, do not let the Rikers get those supplies on really? the dock. There it is. About the purge. Gotta purge the pump. What's going on? Who's alive? What's happening? Somebody get the pump! We're too fast? Locate the stockpile. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Got it. They wanted me to really stare at it. Caught that, huh? You sneaky bastard. Donkey, donkey. So here's the test. Where's our XP going to be? Because that was our last required mission. Almost at 39, but didn't get us there. Rogue agent deceased. That's everybody. See that? Really messed up because we've done a lot of side activities. Really? We've cracked it. We know where Keener's located. Liberty Island. Scumbag's been right in the neighborhood. So I think it's kind of messed up. I think like Parnell had a secret back door to their comms channels. If you beat it at 38 or 37 or whatever, they should just unlock. We could identify a pattern and isolate a source. Drone surveillance also confirms it. He's definitely on the island. 
Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, uh, but as far as like required, I'll join you on this one, Agent. there's other things, right? There's the one where you have to, you know, save the hostage girl. That's oh, I, I think that's what you're probably talking about. I hate that one. <laughs> I do. Like, it's annoying. It's like against the cleaners, and she's like in some building, and yeah. I think that's what you're talking about. Chinatown. But yeah, you're right. They give you XP. But we got these. These give me 45,000. 45,000. Let's see what gives you XP. What is this over here? For, they're all 45,000 for every activity. Yeah, they are. Unless you're doing an elite, which is only 20,000 more. Not that much more. And the control points... 22,000. That's crappy. All right, let's take on these. Public executions are nice and easy. Because you can basically stand in front of the door and shoot them all. We had a good rebound there. Come from like ten miles away. God, that body punch is horrible. It's incredible when you can miss somebody standing right in front of you. It really is. Amplified XP curve. We got a chess piece. They love that RNK at this level, huh? Okay, so where's our meter? Show me my meter. Well, I guess I can go in here. Oh, God, we got a full level. You see that? I wonder what bounties give you. Ooh, that's a uh, hundred and thirty two thousand XP. Yeah, let's take that fucker. Civilians in danger. Bounties is where it's at. That's like worth three of these, so maybe that's the strategy. Do uh, rescues and then bounties. Because that's, that's juicy. I mean, control points aren't even giving that much. Uh, let me down. If these go fast, then that's even nicer, right? It's a lot of XP for... Nothing. 
two tanks. I'm gonna say this is basically what Keener's gonna feel like. That's the target agent. That was worth it. Fuck. Looks like you earned yourself another bounty. Well done. So easy. Let's get another one of those. So I think there was another, uh, yeah, it's right there. That's a trick. I think we could have saved ourselves some time by doing more of those bounties. I normally skip the bounties, so to have it. You live, you learn. That's why I'm doing it. So that we can pass this knowledge down to our homies. Because if you can do these, I mean, we learned two big, two big things, three big things, I think, are my takeaways from today. One is, you know, the stash space is, will be an issue for experienced players. And so they need at least 100 items coming from Countdown. And then the second thing was that you can craft the chest. And it seems like right away you can do that. And then you could get Headhunter right away at level 31. And that's huge. Huge deal. That would have saved us a lot of time. But, I mean, everything went quick. We were doing things with the shotgun. So, I mean, I use the shotgun a lot anyways. boss on this one. Oh, that's because we haven't gotten to the bounty. Never mind. So yeah, between the two, it's about 200, right? And you get gear. So yeah, that's 50 and then another 150. So this is going to be, and it's the same spot. Oh, how convenient is that? 140. So 50 and 140. So yeah. 190. Not counting bonus XP. Target is near you, Agent. Still got a ways, though.
Nice shot. Feels like we've been here before. Because we have. Three times in a row. I haven't spent this much time in New York and for like ever. Habsburg knees. You could probably get away without going back to your other character and just finishing Keener with all this stuff. Thing. We got one more guy to kill over here. Hiding. He's a smart one. Yeah. Cruz is dead. Streets one bad guy at a time. Nicely done, Sheriff. You're on Liberty Island now. You beat me. So we got half a level to go. It's not horrible. Okay, let's see if we if we can get in another one of those. There's one. We could fast travel to it. Yeah, that'd be cool. So yeah, with the for the Keener fight, it's a it's good to pack along an assault rifle no matter what you do, just because you got things like that aerial drone. And warhounds. But everybody else is pretty easy. You can one-shot them all, but, you know, when it comes to the air... The tech. Really wants me to go this way, huh? All right. How are these guys? I can get you. No, nope, I can't. Give me that bounty. 
Yeah, this might do it. Okay, let's see if it's, it's a way so it's fast travel. No, I don't think so, Sentinel. I don't think I know about any hidden spot in developer love letter to mom. No. That's pretty cool. You gotta let me know if you're on when I get there. Where are they at? Just standing over here? Oh, I know where this is. Oh, I lost it. Depends my bounty, you think? Probably not the test. Have they moved? I think so. I think they're gonna be in that little washout area. I'm done already, huh? I would love to land one of these headshots. Make me whip out my shotgun. Oh, that reminds me. I have level 40 gear already in my stash, right? <laughs> it's not my new character. I can just grab my white death or whatever. Just not realize that. Forgot. I mean, I don't have everything, but... Because my main character hosts a lot of stuff. So I technically don't have to log out. I hate when they spread out the bounties like this. Let's get it over with.
I gotta remember not to let my drone out of the bag. Steals my kills a lot. See, I don't take this shot because it's... Because the guys are all, like, uh, panicking. Just this guy, what's going on? That's your target. Ah, oh, wasn't even the target. One seems excessively spread out, doesn't it? Fuck. Move, bro, like right at the last second. Pay me more. Uh, that feels good. At least we're getting some E-credits too, huh? I didn't think about that. Right on, Deja. Oh, we're almost there, but it's, oh gosh. What a thunk after all of that. So that's materials, no XP. Let's do that and hope that it gets us what we need. Right on, Stig, you're at the gym. Making me jelly. You, you must be up early, huh? Inger Brinkston, are you Stig? Are you in Norway? Your name seems very Norway, Norwegian. Or somewhere up there. Sweden, maybe. Just throwing shit out there. <laughs> Just throwing shit out there. Just throwing a northern country. Tiny bits of XP right there, huh? I'm hoping after this. Ricardo, good morning. Oh, you're Norwegian, living in Sweden. I got both. All right, two for two. My brother in law is Norwegian. So, is that right? He's married to my sister. Is that a brother-in-law? That's right. Okay. Something like that, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, I like Norwegians. They uh, remind me a lot of Oregonians. And like, there's like there's certain certain people from or people from certain countries, I should say, are have that like really. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Like easy to trust. They trust you really easily, like in a good way, right? Like not tainted by big city bullshit, you know? Like if you ever like uh, know people from like New York or LA or stuff like that, there's a lot of mistrust because there's a lot of, you know, things that go down in big cities, right? Or a lot of mixed pot stuff too and clashing of cultures and all that stuff and but I've noticed, like, in my years of traveling and meeting people from all around the world, like, Oregon is a relatively sheltered city or state, excuse me. And, uh, like, we get, we're getting more and more exposure, of course, but um, because we're growing, we're growing pretty fast. But, you know, you know when you meet somebody from Oregon because they're, I mean, they're, or when you, when you, come to Oregon, you'll notice that people are smiling at you. They have lots of lots of eye contact and immediate trust kind of situation, you know, and Target is near you, agent. when you go to other bigger cities, it's not like that. People are like kind of weary of you. Strangers is what I'm talking about, right? As you should be in some places or all places, maybe depending on your philosophy. But which, where am I going this way? I hate these bounties. I hate bounties. That's the reason why I hate them, is you get lost. What? Anyways, and so, like, I've met people from, like, Uruguay, for example, is another small country, and they always remind me of Oregonians, too. It's just, like, smiles and really trusting. You feel like you're family right away. That's maybe the best way to describe it, you know? This is annoying. I don't know where it's... This is really annoying. This is why I hate bounties. Spend more time looking for them. I think that's the idea too, right? But just this doesn't feel right. Feels like a dead end. No, it's not. People were from Uruguay like that. Anyways, I noticed that about Norwegians is that, you know, cause it's a small country, not very populated, not very, not very big, not a huge population, right? And so, like, when you meet them, they're always really welcoming and really friendly. And you feel like they're family. And there's a lot of mutual trust there already right out of the gate. And that's awesome. And I'm, I'm used to that. I think that's why I appreciate it. I'm used to it. And I notice, what, I notice it when it's not like that, you know. This stage, I guess I should be wearing a fucking scope because put it on a scope because I'm missing so much without one. I mean, once we're active, it's fine, but it's kind of annoying. I think this is not the bounty. I think this just happens to be a named boss right here, which is even better. This is a named boss zone. Did you come here when you were farming for your lady death back in the day? This is this one of the main spots. Yeah, this is just a name boss. That's XP though. We'll take it. M700 tactical too. They give us XP credit for it though? Not really. Just a tiny bit. That should be a lot of XP. They should give you enough, the same amount as a, uh, a bounty, I think. Because first of all, they're not guaranteed to be found.
super close though. This should do it, I'd imagine. Let's go kill the moose. Maybe. Nope, wrong building. This is one of those. <laughs> you know what I mean? One of those, like, how the hell are we gonna get up there? All right, figure it out. Oh. Sometimes it's like a neighboring building too, and then there's like a catwalk. Annoying. Maybe it's a scaffolding. Could it be that easy or these ropes? <laughs> Maybe even easier. Thank you, Jesus. Sneaky bastard. Where are you guys? Who's over here? Oh, one of these guys. Good work. There it is. Finally. All right, we are level 40, folks. Woo, woo. So I'm thinking about just going there with this gear, though, you know? Just to show it's a strong strong enough build, easy peasy. You got one build to do it all. I mean, but on the other hand, you don't have to because you instantly got access to your stash anyways, you know? But I do need an assault rifle. I got tons of gear. Let's just go to the safe house and tap into it. Grab our whatever we can. I'm not gonna switch accounts though. Right on, SJ. Yeah, I had fun using that one too. Capacitor is just king. Did you re-roll your capacitor yet? You know they're fixing that in the next patch. So you know how we are all stuck with this shitty situation with the uh, damage to armor not being able to be max rolled unless you got really lucky. They're fixing that next patch. So you can optimize it to whatever that stat was, 12%. <clears throat> Anyways, when you put damage to targets out of cover on that little beast. Feels good. So the lesson here at this stage, I guess the only important tip is, I mean, we've all seen Keener, but don't throw away your level... Don't throw away your level 31 stuff, you know? And so this level 38 stuff, like, you, I wouldn't recommend keeping it, you know? But anything really low, like 31, the lower the better. Because you want your 31 character to be really strong. But, like, 39, 38, you don't care about that stuff, you know? Maybe, like, if you got a really good drop, like, right here, like, level 36, you know? Right in the middle, that's not a bad one. Then you don't have to worry about it. But the reality is, is that odds are... You're probably going to get what you're looking for somewhere along the way by the time you get to the middle. Because 
you don't need to worry about your gear. You just need to worry about your weapons leveling up. And so we got this really good level 31. So level 31 shotgun, level 31 sniper is what I don't want to delete. And then everything else can just be trashed. And then what we do over time is just um, continue to level up our our build and perfect it every time we come through. Like, oh, I found a better level 31 chest piece or I found a better level 31, whatever. And the devs introduced new gear also. So I better save that because I think I must have deleted my other level 31 sniper. No, it's the level 30 sniper, right? They give you a level 30 sniper and that's what we started with, but... Um, I'll just say this anyways, just to be prudent. And then everything else we can basically delete. But anyways, so we're here at our stash here. And so we can pull in like the Scorpio. Um, I mean, the Pestilence is getting whatever we want, really. But ideally, I would have uh, used my... Well, I guess, you know, we could bring in this 1886. Let's do that. And then 1886, White Death. That's a good combo, right? But we need a good assault rifle. And I was going to say, ideally, I would have brought... I mean, this, the shotgun should be fine. Regulus is good. Um, I don't have my memento in here, do I? That would be good, too. But we can just do some really good armor on kill. Um, Hunter's Fury. Do I have all my Hunter's Fury pieces, I wonder? I mean, there's one. Let's see what I got. Hot Shot's good, too. Do I have my Ninja? No. All my ex key gear is on the other character, right? So... Um, but we could do one piece of Habsburg. I'll do that. And then chest piece. Uh, I should have everything I need here. We got Walker. I can take that. Palisades is good, too. Brazos. We probably have the Picaros. I probably need that. There's a Shocker, but I don't have the, the gun. So let me find a Picaros. Headshot, I'll do that. So I'll basically do shotgun sniper and then only use the assault rifle for tech. So if I uh, bring two pieces of hot shot, that'll be good. But otherwise, I'm just going to put together a slap together build. I'm not too concerned about it. It's not that hard of a mission. And then watch me die like right away. <laughs> How dare you guys believe in me? Uh, so I'm looking for a good palisade. So I want at least 20% armor on kill, but I'm really liking what the, uh, Bloodsucker is doing for us at this stage. So if I don't have a memento, that's my second. There we go. Habsburg with Bloodsucker. Okay, let's start putting this together. So... Level 30, see, that level 31 backpack lasted the whole time. And it's still going to stay with this. We got our protection from elites. So we'll crush this level 38 stuff. We don't need that. And then um, level 31 gloves. Make sure those are favorited. Junk, the death grips. What is this? Level 10, what? This be 40. Okay, so we got the death grips, and then we need a palisade somewhere. There's a hot shot. It's 39. I'll keep that one just in case I don't got my level 40s. Because all my all my palisades is on my main character, probably. Because I'm testing builds. There's that. And the chest piece definitely needs to be upgraded for this fight. And then level 31 overlord, I'll keep that. 
and we got 31 and 36. That was that worked for us. We still need a better chess piece for 31 in a future run. 39, 37, Habsburg uh, 35. No, that can trash. Habsburg 10. So there's that. So that's 20% to our marksman. Now let's find a chess piece. So obviously we can go chain killer, but if I got that Palisades in here, that'd be key, which I don't think I do. I think it's on my other character. Um, so the Bellstone would be good here too, if I have that here. I do, so that's good. That'll give us regen. And then, uh, so there's 1% armor regen. So I guess I can just put on the Bellstone. Oh, let's open these, level 40. Um, I'd prefer a um, a different pistol, actually, with Determined, but I don't know if this is going to be strong enough. Bring it. We'll try it. Because the D50 is usually the one that pulls it off. Assault Rifle. Um, yeah, we'll use the Shield Splinter. It's straightforward. Just use it on the tech. You could use a covert SRS run and gun. That'd be fun. Yeah, let's do that. So we can put on um, the rifle here. 1886. I happen to have one. So I'll re-roll that. And then we'll put the covert over here. Covert's fun. It's fast. Where'd it go? Tick, 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 right? Okay. So what do we got here? Mods. Stability. Where's all my mods? Here's my 20% stability mod. Guess I, I probably needed to craft up at the bench on this character. Okay. So we're almost there. So now we just need... Oh, that's a nice Fenris. It's crazy. The knees. So that's my only palisade, but another belt's gonna work down there, so I'll just put that there. Oh, there's a palisade. Never mind. Perfect. So the all red palisade, the unicorn. Okay, let's tinker that bad boy. Put that one to red. It might be worth going to 30% armor on kill, but that's cool. I don't have any mods, really, so... I'll just put that one on. Unless I have one in here. I do have something. Nothing interesting. Skill duration. And then we'll do um, decoy. And then I'll do attack drone as another form of decoy. And also pulls people out of cover. Cool. That's our build. That's a lot of armor. <laughs> Might be too much. But there's an extra red core hidden down here. And if I need to switch my chest piece, I'll bring it back up. Like a walker or something. I don't have that. Ah. Well, you'll have to do. Okay. Uh, fifteen percent headshot damage. One hundred and four percent. Is that what you mean? Uh, 
Oh, I know what you mean. The stats. Yeah, good question. I think so. Yeah, 187. Yeah, good question. All right. Oh, yeah, good call about the 1886, yeah. The missions don't have very many elites, though, don't they? I think there are a lot of weaklings. I guess we'll see. So we still don't have weapon handling, and I don't have rifles set up in my uh, specialization tree. So there's that too. Okay, Keener, here we come. Finally. Thank God for those. We figured out those bounties, though, I gotta say. You. System disrupted. System reactivated. Pick a boo. Sniper. The hell? This is right? Something's wrong. I think it's a different mission. That's annoying. Wasting my time. Oh, there you are, Alani. Where the hell have you been this whole time? Ultimately, the best build for this is probably that Hunter's Fury run. I mean, you would just read through this. But also, the, other than that, the D50 would be really helpful. Pistols are just really easier. A lot faster. Because the crosshairs. Geezer! I'm still going! Appreciate you, man. You guys, check out Geezer's channel when you get a sec. Sorry, Geezer, I do a shout out, but I'm trying to do this one kind of quick. Oh, 
Ah. Keep getting too close. Hold on. Yeah, the memento would be clutch, but you know, this is the next best thing. Memento would give you power, also, that's why. Not that we really need it. Oh, thought I had you. We are a beast. This is level 40 shit right here, folks. We're running a lot of armor. The missions are easier. So I'm not going to brag. We're hitting at our normal numbers, though, but we don't have a watch. Really? I fucking landed that. And that. All right, let's get this ferry on a course to Liberty Island. Gotta admit, I can't wait to find those cheap cleaners' ass. Kelso, I've taken a look through Ponell's files and found something. Looks like he worked with Keener's bioweapon under the name Project Eclipse. There's something big planned on the island. I really don't like the sound of that. Whatever Keener's planning, we can't let him carry it out. I don't really trust you, but you're all we've got. Don't fuck it up. What does he mean he doesn't trust her? <laughs> She's gotten this this far. Sorry, we're skipping that stuff. Where we at? Unknown network detected. Signals coming from below the statue. It's gotta be him. Uh, welcome to Liberty Island, agents. Thank you. I see the division really went out of their way to get me there tired and poor. Into right on, Skeletor. Thanks for hanging, man. Appreciate your help. You know what your objective is. Neutralizing the last EMP. Keener is fucked, sir. All right, prepare for a full assault. All units, move in. The Black Tusk haven't arrived in New York by coincidence. They're here to get Keener. But why? That, dear Kelso, is the million dollar question. You just run by that gear, right? It's not good to us. Agent, I'm going radio silent for now. We don't want to telegraph our intentions to this fucking eavesdropper. Just don't listen to what he says. He will try to manipulate you. Kelso, out. System. Oh, yeah. Status. We've spotted division on the island. But we're all set over here to receive the package. Deploy the razor back. System. What? See through. The Razorback is ready to go, sir. Initiate. Oh, I hate the Razorback. Uh, you need to disable the Razorback, but it will indirectly benefit your opponent. What will you do, Agent? It's what you call a real catch-22. Where am 
I going Sir, here? The division are approaching the Razorback. Do not allow the Razorback to be compromised. We can use its drones to locate and neutralize Keener. Defend it. Razorback detected. Massey, we what up, man? Detected. 22 months, bro. Look at you. You almost did that platinum score. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for your commitment. Wow. Time flies, for sure. God, they're not giving me credit for that. See in that? There it is. Weak points detected. Razorback terminal detected. Through the two gates. All right, cool. I'm listening there. Deja. Senor Deja Vu. Deja Vu. Weak points detected. Fucker. Weak points detected. Razor back disabled. Sir, the razor back is offline. That's just fucking great. Okay, through the two gates, he says, okay. All remaining units initiate a final assault. Deploy everything we have southwest of the monument. Understand? Copy that, sir. Yeah, it does. I mean, all damage does. All damage does. That's a good question, reversed. All damage increases with your level. So, yeah. Uh, they, But you won't really notice it. It's our last one, sir. Oh. I guess it, we're talking about incoming damage, right? Marauder class quadcopter detected. S uh, gate hard right. Here? Ooh, there's something here, though. That's not it, though. Depends on where you want me to go hard right, but I can go through this. This is the second gate, I figure. So let's go hard right. Through the bushes, though, huh? Wow. Okay. Okay. Bushes. Ah, is this it? This is dedicated to my mom. This island is for you. Weemo. That's a developer, huh? That's cool. Aw. How sweet. Okay, we got... A drone to worry about. Thanks for that, man. I never knew that was there. Let me, um... Oops. Go into photo mode so we can get a clear view of it from above.
So through these bushes. Oh, it's night. It's peaceful back there. So after the rays are back. We went through this gate. So I'm going to go through it again because it was probably confusing. I was going in circles. Okay. So there's the razor back. We killed it. And then we went through this gate. And then through this gate. And then we took a hard right. And then we just followed this line. And then there's a clearing through the bushes. And there it is with the two teddies. Shout out to Deja. You rock. No, yeah, the level 30 boost you can use infinitely. So the only thing about the level 30 boost is that it gives you a credit one time. So the, fir uh, the first time you use it. Sir, we've lost control of the Marauder. Keener, son of a bitch. Fucking Keener. <laughs> That's a hell of a shot. Yeah, the first time you use it, it gives you a uh, a boost, and then after that... You get no, um, I'm saying the boost I'm talking about is the credits, like resources. It gives you a one time lift in resources, otherwise, it's all no resources. But the boost is always there for you once you uh, purchase Warlords of New York, and so you'll be able to boost as many times as you feel like, as many characters as you feel like. He's not that hard. He's just a purple marauder. So he's going to die pretty easy. I'm not even really trying. So yeah, you really can do this run just with whatever build you want to. But yeah, uh, for the incoming damage question. So yeah, as you level up, so do the enemies damage to you. Yeah, even the Warhounds are easy to kill. I mean, remember, I'm running a crazy high armor build. Not crazy high armor, but I'm running an armor build, really. Look at my build. 1.5 million, and it's all headshot damage, and those things don't have headshot heads. So, I didn't have mods on those, so... Okay, so I'm going to take off the Regulus, just put on whatever, please. Which probably work on these weak enemies. And then I'm going to run the Scorpio just to prepare for El Jefe. Maddie, what's up? What's good, man? So, and then we'll put some special ammo in those backup weapons. Maybe that'll help us against El Kiner. You know, Kiner's Mexican, huh? They call him El Kiner. Anna's voice? Hostiles detected. Ooh. Is that an Easter egg too? Was that always there? Echo detected. You know what I'm kidding. Still think resources is scarce. Denying our opponents. That's that's good reverse. You know I got a um a whole playlist dedicated to new players and it's new. Like it's all 2024 stuff. Yeah, I'm going to give you the first one you need to watch. There you go. Since you're level 10. I'm guessing you you're like you don't have your watch yet, right? Just a little further. You're like that new? No watch. Delorean! Something with your prime! You rock. They all have their parts to play. But like any big project, only the director knows how it'll all come together. If you let your work be think about the big picture, they stop working. So we really don't have any NPCs to fight anymore, right? Which door did we go to? This one, right? Which door are we going to? <laughs> I'm confused. 
That's not the right one. Wasn't paying attention. That's the right one. I hate this phase. Anybody else hate this phase? Our attack turret. It's not hard, it's just annoying. This seemed hard when we first started though, right? You guys remember when this felt hard? It's weird. I don't understand how some things felt hard and they're no longer feeling hard. <laughs> Hostile assault turret detected. <laughs> like, have we become that much stronger? Rogue drone because I don't have a watch here yet, you know? Drone detected. Or is it just because it was new? Uh, pretty soon, Matt. Rogue stinger hive detected. I'm almost done, actually, with some of these tutorials. I'm not never going to be done with the tutorials, but I got like a couple of key tutorials to do. This is one of them that we're working on today. The New York, the New York series. One is just general guidance to get through New York, but really more importantly, because New York's pretty pretty straightforward there's not much many tips you really need to get through this right i mean there's a couple of things like when it comes to the loot rooms you know the secret caves on like for example wall street you know trying to figure out that like if you're new that would be confusing you're like how do i get in that room you know So I got to do that. That's all basic, but I'm probably going to make it as part of this series a little bit. Just break it into two videos. One for this is how you burn through this as fast as possible. And another one for if you're new, then New York is pretty straightforward. Just follow the flow. And then you're going to want to enjoy it more, right? There's no hurry. And then you just need to know these tips uh, to get into this room and save you a little bit of time here and there. Yeah, but yeah, the, I think the hardcore character. I'm gonna do it on my other care on my other account though, not this one, uh, because I just need the stash space. And so that's why I'm excited that we created that other account. It just worked itself out that that'll be our go-to. So what's cool is those skills you that you're killing get you some bonus armor too, huh? Probably wanted to put an assault rifle on this other one, sorry. Doesn't really matter, but...
artillery turret detected. Is down or is there more? There's more. A hell of a shock, huh? Yeah, pretty easy. He's done. Let's get a couple of headshots in. You gotta remember, we're running tons of headshot damage. <laughs> so that's why I meant, like, let's get a couple of headshots in. I'm on my way. I mean, on the shotgun. Make sure he doesn't get away. 123. Oh, wait, wrong gun. 113. Leaving contaminated area. Oh, my God, looks like a badass. In that outfit. My time's up. Wait, what did you do? <laughs> what did you do, Keener? Uh, basically, when you finish the story, yeah, you play story mode all the way through until end game. So, end game starts after this, when you get back to Washington D.C. So this is the last step. You grab this watch, and then you travel back to Washington D.C. and you activate your watch. Basically, you just push a couple of buttons, and you're now in end game. Dingo, what up? Ooh, I gotta remember that, Matt. Come in. Schaefer. So I'll probably put this back where Haven. Fail hey, out, don't do it. Schaefer, do you read? <laughs> Fall back. Keener's dead. But he's activated the network. What's the damage? Parnell's watch is collating the data. Looks like it's all of them. Shit. More rogue agents. Just what we fucking need. No. It's perfect. This will bring the division to its knees. And that's when we'll end them. Once and for all. Oh! Faye! How dare you? Waiting to take you to New York. Yeah, settlements are important. Don't miss the settlement stuff. Because that's unlocking vendors. And um, it's basically upgrading your operations, your base of operations, the White House. Things like the crafting bench and stuff like that. Yeah. What you don't have to do, if you don't want to, are the little mini projects that come with the safe houses. Those you can skip. I just want to say I'm sorry about loud. Okay, I'm going to skip this stuff. All right, so let's take a look at this watch. So it's just going to give us some instructions here. Unknown user detected. Subroutine access denied. Local administrator override initiated. Administrator override complete. 
encrypted subroutines detected. Analyzing. Decryption complete. Subroutine compromised. Got it. So we can add points. Got it. Synchronization in progress. I hate that it does this tink, tink, tink. I wish it just <laughs> did it, you know? So I'm not going to do this all the way with all of these, but. Okay. Directory compromised. Got it. Unlocked and synchronized. And there's our health boost. So we're at 60,000. So cap. And, and tutorial. So this is what we're really after. Scavenge points. So we have 12,442 scavenge points to use. My watch is probably what is my watch 3242 so 800 goes to the other crap and then that leaves the remainder for you to spend on resources and so we since we tapped out um on our ceramics oh no we haven't we're not sharing resources yet so we need to do that so that's the first thing we need to do is go to anaya and um so we go back to new york i'm in washington dc now and so the first thing we're going to do is sh uh, buy our, um, what do you call it? Our um, blueprint to share. And so that's the trick that they put into this. So there is a way around that. So if you organically go to New York, there are, I learned there are some advantages. One of them is that you can buy those blueprints before you go to New York including the shared resources blueprint so when you go into new york you're actually syncing the resources between multiple care your other characters you can actually share whatever obviously you're only going to do that once because you're not going to start every character from zero to 30 right so but there's an advantage to that but if you knew this if i knew this in hindsight then i would organically take my first character i wouldn't boost them until i was able to buy that blueprint which is world tier one and then i would go to new york by doing that what ends up happening is you also take over your level 30 gear that you have the perfect talents on that you're looking for like bloodsucker or focus or determined or whatever and your level 30 gear can carry you all the way to keener you wouldn't have to create a level 31 build because your level 30 build would get you there. Well, not all the way there because you're not going to have the same armor stats. But So eh, maybe scratch that. Maybe you wouldn't need the level 31 build because you can't put 170,000 armor on level 30. So you need level 31. Okay, so here we are. So now we got to go to Anaya. So this is this step. So we go to Anaya. And we see her and we're looking account shared blueprints so want that it's going to cost 17 bucks and then account shared materials super important and then we might as well buy that all right I'll see you another time. so now that should be instantly uh and you'll see in the bottom left that we're getting all these things all those things that we're getting are the shared stuff and so that'll allow you to craft uh and then our bench is leveled up. See all these things. These are all the blueprints that are just coming in. So those are blueprints you had to find. So you had to get all of these blueprints and even these optimization stuff, right? Those were all, come. they came from projects. The summit dishes them out as well as control points. And remember, we couldn't craft any gear. Now we can. We couldn't craft any gear because we didn't have blueprints. Control points dish out blueprints and everything I just said. And then exotic blueprints. So it'll take a couple of minutes, I'm sure, to get all this stuff in. But either way, that's that. And we were already sharing the library, which is unique, right? The 31 library. And that that's powerful for running your character through. that Because level 30, one character has got access to level 40 uh stats and so all you need is resources and we figured that out but so it makes it all super easy and you can literally run through it but it's still 
three to four hour exercise. Sadly. And I wish it wasn't, but, but you know. Okay, so the other part of the lesson is that that what's new to this is all that starred favorite level 31 gear, we do not trash. But everything else we can. So I'm going to trash anything that's level 40 that I don't want. And then this is, of course, a keeper. This was also a keeper. This is a level 38. We don't need that anymore. Level 37, we don't need because you don't want to you don't want to occupy your stash. Your stash is important, right? But I'll keep the level 36 and the level 31. And then I can delete this level 31 sniper. So I'll keep this level 36. And then so I'm keeping two guns, and then I'm keeping uh six pieces of gear, basically. So level 31 mask. I'm keeping the level 31 chess piece, but I don't think I'm going to need this y'all because I think we figured out you can craft right away. So I just need something to get me going until I craft. So that's what that is. Um, and then 39, we can get rid of level 31 holster. Just making sure I have it all saved so I don't accidentally delete it. Save that as favorite. Uh, Grupo, it's junk. Palisades, that's junk. It's 39. Level 31, knees. Level 31, gloves. And then our level 31, backpack. All of which can be upgraded next time we go. So these aren't necessarily permanent. So if maybe next time around there's a really good backpack that's like maybe it's Providence and it already has Bloodsucker, then I can put more armor on it, something like that. So. And then everything else we could just destroy. And then now we have all of our stash space. Now, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to actually equip some of that stuff because I don't play with this character. So, um, I'm going to equip it, and then I'm going to move back into the stash those key pieces that we brought over because those are pieces I actually use, right? So Shield Spinter, Covert, 1886. So we're going to free this character back up. Needs a... Sh uh, we can delete that. Needs a pistol, right? So I could probably delete that pistol, but whatever. All these mods, uh, I guess I can just keep them. Doesn't matter. This, we'll open this up, figure it out. Probably just chunk, more junk. Yeah. And then put the level one on, move that over. Um, let's see, put the level one, move that over, move that over. Because this character is going to host just um, gear sets. That's what we're going to put on this character. So... I guess I can move that over. Oh, wait, that's a key piece right there. I need that back. That I accidentally moved the wrong knee. Shoot. It was a Cheska, right? That one. Okay, stash. And then that. And then you can go. And then you can go. Death Grips goes back. These are junk. And then the golem. Cool. So that's our build. And it's also the gear that's going to stay on the character. So as far as slots, we got a full 150. You see that? How nice is that? <laughs> How nice. And we got a loaded watch of 12,000 something resources. So... And then we, now that we now we can see where our inventory is at. So we got we're over the cap on ceramics and we're over the cap on steel. And so I can load up my polycarbs, not all the way because we still want to get drops. And so, but might as well spend the watch we earned. What else are we going to spend it on?
So a little bit of printer filament, a little bit more. We spent a lot of that on crafting. Crazy, huh? Printer filament's pretty rare, so it's okay to get this a little higher. Then this stuff, let's get it at a healthy place so we don't have to come back to our fourth character to load up on things. Otherwise, I think we're good. So we're maxed out on SHD calibrations. That's rare. And then uh, field recon data, we're looking good there. But this is, SHD calibrations are extremely um, hard to amass. It takes a lot of hours to get those full. You can make four total reversed, four total. So one, uh, I use one that I actually play with and the other three are my mules. They just store stuff and I use them for resources. So besides that, so now that we got our character back, what we want to do is bring back, which I moved all the way to my second character, a lot of it, but we need to bring back the uh, gear sets to unfill our stash. Some of these I actually still use. I'm going to keep in my stash, but see uh, that one is trash. That one can come. Aces, true, patriot. I don't think I need that anymore. This. Tip of spear can come back. Umbra. All right. And then boundaries. My shit trash those. I need better pieces. Backpacks, all right, tip of spear, heartbreaker, clips, true patriot for sure, foundry, system corruption, that stays, that'll stay, masks, I think there's some, there's some on my second character, so we have to fetch those, I'll do it later, Just, but it's still good space, good amount of space, and then where's our stash, it's at uh, 216, so that's good. We got a lot of stash space now because we deleted so much shit, right? But, all right, mission accomplished. Crazy. Crazy that we did that today. Yeah, you can change your specialization by going to this dude eventually. You got three. You got to level them up, though. And then eventually you'll get the other three when you get through New York. Mission completed. Did we complete? All right, so now that we did that, let's do it again. Let's delete my other character. Actually, ideally, it is the time to do it, right? Because of the stash situation. So the unfortunate side of it all is that like, if you wait to do your other account, then you're going to have to delete a 100 things again, right? Or 50 things or whatever you need. But right now, we got, what, 100 slots? About 120 slots free here. And then we have 75 slots, 80 slots free there, whatever. So, you know, we can do some countdown runs and fill these guys up. Well, sort of. I'd have to move things around anyways, so. Either way, we got about 50, 75 spaces. I get, so I'm, I'm tempted to do my other character. But the reality is, is that I don't really need that many resources. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm only wanting to do it because I want to confirm that I can do that chess piece, you know? That's a big game changer. The crafting of the chess piece right at level 31, that's a big deal. It really is. Like, I wouldn't mind deleting a character just to confirm that is the case, you know? And then, you know, and now we know. And then, you know, kind of perfect the process anyway. So we learned that 
uh, the bounties are really rewarding. And the question comes down to, are they just as rewarding in the beginning? Or are they rewarding, or is the XP scaling on those, which I assume it is? And they only get that potent at the end. And so if that's the case, and at least we know, it's just like, hey, as you get towards the end, start doing those bounties. They do scale, huh? Yeah. Deja, it sounds like you've done this a few times. <laughs> what up, Fog of War? You can take countdown credits to Haven? Fog, yeah, but that's basically what we, we did something similar. Basically what we did is we farmed countdown and we donated all of our named items into our stash and then moved those items into our new character and then sold those items for massive currency that we could use. The limitation was on this account is that I didn't have very much stash space on my main characters. So we were only able to do like 50 at a time, basically, which it turns out we needed at least 100. So but on my new account, you have so much stash space that you're not using yet that I mean, you can move over 150, 350 and it just you're you're really rich. You're really rich. So it's something to keep in mind. I don't understand how you would do that, though. Because you can't, can't are you, you, you can't, sh you're not sharing those credits yet, right? Are you, am I wrong there? These credits aren't being shared until you come back. Or they're not ever being. Or were countdown credits being shared the whole time and I just didn't realize it? So credits never share, but countdown credits do. At 31. What up, Cod God? So E credits don't share, but countdown credits do. Got it. That's unique. That's also unique. It would it would be worth doing another run and adding that in there because then you can get a named White Death at level 31 or something right there, right? But you could also get something stupid that you're not interested in, like a Mozambique. <laughs> you can you can you but you can't use the exotics, is that the deal? Because they're level 40. Where were you guys like three hours ago? No. Yeah, that's what I have, Matt. That's basically what I have. Yeah. Really? But exotics don't drop? I don't understand. Let me, but exotics aren't supposed to drop at level 31, right? So you're saying like I can get a level 31 St. Elmo's if I'm lucky enough from the vendor. Yeah, they do, huh? Because I know you can get like the Liberty and stuff like that in the, in the world tiers. You can get a level 30 with St. Elmo's, level 31 St. Elmo's, whatever. Wow. Fuck, let's do that next time. That's a whole nother level to this strategy. Oh, my gosh. Where were you guys like three hours ago? <laughs> Seriously. Ugh. That's super smart. I mean, the named items, maybe, because you have to go in with a ton of credits, right? And... But you only need to make the build once. So, <laughs> no, it's all good. I'm just teasing you guys. 
but that's what I'm doing. I'm building, I'm, I want to, I'm making a video, uh, for basically solo players on how to make the New York boosting process as easy as possible and as fast as possible. And the reality was, I mean, I actually, I have the build. So, um, this is a level 31 build. And then as soon as I, uh, get the chess piece, I deleted it, but, um, because we found out you can craft the chess piece, right? So you can craft, uh, purple chess pieces, which enable you to put a, a talent on, which ends up being headhunter. Anyways, so yeah, we were one-shotting everything. And so the only thing that I had to worry about was weapons. But these level 31, uh, between level 31 and 35, these weak weapons are one-shotting everything. And then um, once you get to about halfway level 36, that's when you have to start upgrading your weapons. But if we get something like an exotic, like a Scorpio or something silly... Yeah, I'm, we're trying. I was brain damage. I'm, I'm curious because I'm having a hard time getting it faster than three hours, and that's where we started. That was the question that we started with today. Was like, how do we get this faster than three hours solo? Solo. I get it in a group. I understand in a group because I am running through this thing like a god of war, shooting everybody with one bullet. I'm unkillable. You know, and things don't get risky until we're basically at like level 38, 39. But even then, we didn't go down one time, right? So it's like, because of, of all the armor, that's 1.1 million in armor. Look at it, right? And so, but it still just takes greater than three hours because of all this. Mostly because even though I discover Liberty, unlock Liberty, I'm still... uh level 36 37 and so i have to spend the rest of the time going around uh picking up xp and that just sucks i can't build a level 30 skill build unless i take a new character to level 30 right am i wrong there too <laughs> you know what i mean because as soon as you start in um, New York, yes, you're level 30. Yeah, level 31. Yeah, level 31. I hear you. Skills can be strong, but we're still pretty freaking fast just one-shotting everything with the shotguns. And our skills were just killing everything anyways, even though they were weak. I had no skill tiers. And they were shredding everything. Yeah, I mean, that's what I did. <laughs> that's what I did, you know. And we get there. And I'm a, I mean, we unlocked New York. And, you know, the only side mission I didn't do today was... Well, I guess I didn't do two today. I didn't do the gold bank thing, you know. And then I didn't do the one where you have to save that girl in Chinatown because it's annoying. I purposely avoided that one. But last night, I did. I just did this last night also on my other account, and I did do the gold bank one, and it was the same situation. You know, ended up having to run around for an hour doing random activities to level up. And so it keeps happening. And this has been a persistent issue over years. So this isn't just the last 48 hours. Like... You know, when I've done this in group, it's just like we end up in New York or at Liberty Island and I'm like, oh, I'm only at level 39 or whatever. It's the same thing. We end up having to do extra control points, you know. Yeah, I'm trying to do it without a level 40 booster just because a lot of people don't have the, you know, the uh, friends or want to do this on their own time and just kind of get through it and not invite somebody. I mean, because I'm kind of like that, like I don't want to bring somebody in on my pain in the ass process, you know, but if you have a bunch of friends and you are in a clan, then maybe somebody is like, oh, you know what? I got to do my character, too. But that's not a level 30, 40 boost. Right. 
it's just like if you do me i'll do you but then if you do it that way then you're both you add it up together ends up being just four hours right because to speed run these things with a friend and you're not a professional (laughs) character booster it's gonna take you two hours two and a half hours maybe right you go this way i go that way kind of thing and so if you so if you say hey you rub my back i'll rub yours then you're back to a four hour process maybe five and so anyways my point is is that not everybody's got the friends list so i just i really want to create the strategy as a solo from a solo perspective and just say and if you have a friend you know then this all goes faster Yeah, it's tough to do it any faster than the determined bill. And so that's basically what I'm saying. And so I think we're working out the XP thing. I think that we're working it out. It just turns out you have to you have to do activities and, and we're narrowing in and we did end up discovering that those um, bounties were quite attractive. They were given 150,000 XP for the bounty and then 50,000 for the um, hostage rescue. So it was 200,000 in XP for per, va- per bounty. We ended up doing three of them to get a level and a half or something like that. So something like that. So, you know, that's probably going to be a recommendation. Okay, get here to this level as fast as you can, then top it off with bounties. And the more uh, high level, act- those those other little activities didn't even seem worth it. You know, and I'm going to have to test this again, I guess, in our next run through. So I'll probably end up deleting another account. But those little after doing the bounties at the same time, at the same level. So when we were at thirty nine, looking at the bounties, doing two hundred thousand and then looking at a control point that only did forty thousand, you know, a control point, forty thousand. The bounties are two hundred thousand combined. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do the control points. It makes me wonder if I'm ever going to do control points now. You know, so remember along the way, we did like three or four or five random activities because we were keeping an eye on our XP. But now I wonder if it was ever even worth it to do that. Yeah, I wish we could get a low level of that. (laughs) I think you'd have to have the crafting got to be able to craft it but i like matt's and fog of war's um tips too saying um oh yeah by the way check out fog of war's channel if you guys haven't it's got some good stuff good intel there anyways uh, we have a good base strategy going here. And so we just have to, you know, tie the knot around the XP thing, which I think we're getting closer. And then if we can swing those two things in, plus confirm the crafting of the chess piece, we're solid. Then we have all the pieces of the puzzle together. It's still going to take three hours minimum, you know, and if you're lucky and you just on your A game, maybe it goes a little bit faster, but it's basically three hours, right? So, let me ask anybody this let me ask somebody this so along the way you get uh requests uh for help right you notice that so somebody's a call for help you get a call for help but it just they see those call for helps just so happen to be timed out from what i can tell with where you're at in your progress so when i was in the conley area i was getting calls for help for the stranded tanker. And then when I was in Kachiva's area, I was getting calls for help with those. For those areas or for that mission, whatever. And so I'm wondering, like, does the calls for help, does that make it go faster? Because is it potentially... If you answer that, you could potentially be at the Vivian Conley fight, for example, or at the Javier fight, the boss fight. You could be all the way at the end of that thing. 
and grouping amplifies XP. So there's the other part. Yeah, so there's that. Yeah. That would be attractive right there. You know, you could just, for all the key missions, run with somebody else. The only problem I see with that is that I'm literally, I, I thought about it, but I was thinking like, I'm literally sprinting through this thing. And if you get matched up with somebody who's trying to enjoy it, <laughs> it is looking for a help and you're fucking sprinting through that thing. You're ruining it for them. You know? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I appreciate your help. So to be continued, we'll, we'll play around with this some more this weekend. Um, but I also got to be farming the, the uh, new S the SHD event too. So maybe not tomorrow back to New York, but, uh, Tomorrow we should probably play with the shade event and then the next day. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to fill my stash right now. Right. I'm going to delete that account. All right, guys, I appreciate you. Thanks for your help and your guidance today. It really means a lot. And this will translate to the entire community, all your guys' feedback. So shout out to all you guys for your advice and your help and your tips. And I will catch you tomorrow.